Chapter 501 Yes, the Dragon Balls can fulfill a person's wish. Bardock nodded, your name is Vegeta, is the prince of planet Vegeta, I met you back then, by the way my name is Bardock. Bardock was considered a celebrity at the time of planet Vegeta, Vegeta more or less heard of his name, but now he was more concerned about the resurrection of Shasli. His eyes swept over the people present, and then stopped at Piccolo's body, I've long heard that name Kian can do magical magic, is that dragon ball made by that name Kian? Piccolo schemed his mouth, I didn't make the dragon ball, but it does have something to do with me. Where are the dragon balls and how can I find them? Vegeta asked excitedly, I just want to save Shasli, absolutely no other ideas. No hurry, originally you as an intruder, Kanalita, and I should have arrested you, but for the sake of the same scion, I will let you off for the time being, as for the dragon balls, wait until you have destroyed the one above. There are people. Vegeta's face hardened, is what they call whore. Probably. Bardock cast his eyes into the distant space. At this time, tens of thousands of kilometers away from the Earth's location, Hor and others who had been monitoring the Earth's situation through the scouter already know what happened above the Earth. They did not expect that the proud Hor special force team were actually killed by three or two people, which was really ironic. District low-level planet, I am underestimating them. Hor's face was gloomy, his purple eyes flashed with a cold light, and his fingers tapped rhythmically on his seat. He was not sad about the death of the members of Hor special force team, he was angry simply because the other side had made him lose face. Dragon Balls? Name Kian. Hor suddenly ordered, hurry up and land the ship, I want to get that so-called Dragon Ball. If that whatever Dragon Pearl could really make a wish, then it was bound to be in his grasp. The subordinate cosmonauts were thinking that Hor was going to be angry, but they were all relieved to hear such an order and hurriedly controlled the ship to land. To be on the safe side, Hor released all power before entering Earth. Immediately, a small figure like the Frisia final form appeared. It was white, only the top, shoulders and abdomen were bright red, powerful power scraping. There was a burst of whirlwind, and the alien on the spaceship was under pressure, like a sea, constantly rising and falling. Here it comes. Bardock whispered. Sun Goku, Piccolo and Vegeta and others looked at Bardock with concern, but the next moment, a dark aura from the abyss passed from outer space, Sun Goku and others looked horrified, all stunned by the terrifying aura. So terrifying, even from a distance to sense a little, the blood has a feeling of stopping the flow. With the other party's strength, if you want to kill me, you only need to blow a breath. His strength is similar even compared to Virgil. Bicker's face was ugly, Virgil has at least 50 million combat power, the strongest person he knows, and this aura that suddenly appeared is even more powerful than Virgil. What's wrong with this world, why are the experts coming out one after another? With crystal cold sweat on his forehead, Vegeta hugged Chasley's corpse and muttered to himself. What he saw and heard this day, let Vegeta physically and mentally exhausted, there was a feeling that the world was strange. People said 10,000 power level were rarely seen it, how come so many strong people suddenly appeared? Kanalita tilted her head to the sky, clear eyes narrowed, Mr. Bardock, I'm afraid you'll have to step in this moment. Bardock laughed loudly, leave it to me, just a worthless guy. If you don't make a move, you'll be preempted by those little guys. He was not the only strong person on the earth, and Bardock already felt three powerful keys starting to rise up in the direction of the great azure mountain. Hu hu hu. The sky was as black as ink, the terrifying key kept pressing down, as if to herald something, and lightning started flashing in the dim clouds. A disc-shaped airship revealed itself through the clouds. Ah so there are other enemies, that huge spaceship, does it mean that the enemy is the whole fleet? I wonder if Goddess Kanalita has any way to stop the other side. The blonde host had already jumped down from the helicopter, and the camera was about to point at Kanalita when she saw Kanalita's side suddenly swept up a golden glow, and a sky-rushing aura rose up. Hmm? What a powerful energy. Violent storm wind blowing over, all people could only use both arms to block in front of the forehead the body in the huge wind in the Middle East shaking west like floating weeds. Ho! Oh. A low bellow. Bardock went against the wind split the air waves, and suddenly golden flames burned up. Bardock's hair and eyebrows instantly turned golden. His eyes turned from black to turquoise, flashing a cold light, turquoise pupils cold and piercing, without a trace of emotion. The whole person was wrapped in a blazing flame, or like a rainbow, like a dazzling star. Vegeta came loser dazzled at the changes in the body of Bardock, 
is this. It's father's super scion transformation. Sun Goku said enviously. Although he had seen it countless times, it was still overbearing. The violent power surely worthy of born warrior race. Super Scion, sure, Super Scion was born in Scion. Vegeta was amazed at mutter to oneself, perhaps because the previous battle had caused him too much shock. In the face of Bardock's Super Scion transformation, Vegeta didn't have the idea of giving up, but instead looked like a target. Perseverance Nappa was now incoherent, Vegeta, that is Super Scion in planet Vegeta, actually exists. It's a uh, Vegeta lamented. Piccolo gave Vegeta a glance, you have been wandering in the universe for so long, haven't you heard of God Mu Force? Earth is the home base of God Mu Force, and Bardock is the well-known warrior in God Mu Force, at Earth. There is more than one expert like Bardock. Vegeta expression was bland. There were several similar to Super Scion. If he knew this point early, he would not choose to come to Earth. But, to be able to see Super Scion, this choice did not seem to be bad. The premise was that Chasley could be saved. Dragon Balls, he must get it. When Bardock transformed into Super Scion, it seemed that the sense came to the sky, and the three powers on the Great Azure Mountain were all smothered and concealed. Kakarot, take a good look, I will show you the power of Super Scion. Yet. Yeah. Sun Goku forced nods. Raising the head, Bardock's body was short, then jerked up, and immediately grounded down the severe dozen meters, and the range of one kilometer of the circumference collapsed. The golden blonde hair host and his team were standing still, and if it wasn't for Kanalita, they couldn't see it. They used Kami's power to help, and they all fell. The golden blonde hair host who stood firm did not want to miss this once in a lifetime opportunity, and quickly called his team to point the scene at the sky. In the golden lookout, there was a loud noise of bang bang bang, and the disc spaceship all fell. Hateful, that person, is the general of God Mu Force, how can he be on Earth? Hor studied the information that King Cold gave them, so I knew Bardock's identity. When he saw Bardock, he had a huge heart. The sense of crisis. Even King Cold is not his opponent, I can't face him hand to hand combat, but Dragon Balls is on Earth. Hor had a tangled look and was really reluctant to give up Dragon Balls. The last greedy thought took the upper hand and he was ready to let go. But Hor didn't know, this time he had to pay a heavy price for his greed. Bardock's strength was far above him. Although Bardock hadn't made an upward breakthrough in recent years, there was at least 500 million in power level. Even if King Cold sees him, he has to worry about it. Hor's strength was similar to that of Frisia. How was his opponent? So the next battle was almost a one-sided blood abuse. In the face of Super Scion forms Bardock, Hor continues to be embarrassed. Swoosh, Bardock's energy blade was cut on Hor's body. Hor had a painful pain, and the pain of the heart rushed into his heart. His white tail was cut off, and then it was even more miserable. The arms and legs were cut off successively, and the handsome body was cut. Become incomplete. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Hateful, how could I not be your opponent? Is this the power of Super Scion? Hor looked bitter and couldn't wait to slap himself. He knew that he shouldn't come to Earth. Cracking a joke, I can't die here. Escape. Just escape from Earth and he would be safe. Hor knew that he was invincible. When life was threatened, life-saving was the first choice. At this time, dignity could be put down, so Hor did not say anything, directly moved towards outer space. Chapter 502 This guy wants to run and escape. When he saw that Hor was going to escape in the direction of outer space despite being hit by Bardock's key wave, everyone present immediately knew what he was planning to do. Although the Scions were able to exert unparalleled power on the planet, the body had limitations. Once the battlefield was transferred to outer space, then even the Super Scions could only stare, after all, they were not like Muyang who could survive in the universe. Do not worry, we'll not let him escape. A cold light flashed across his face, and Bardock said confidently. Swoosh. 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 Bardock threw a series of continuous key waves toward the sky, which were one after another, densely covering the entire sky like a dense curtain of bullets forming a huge covering net. Faced with the saturation attack released by Bardock, Hor's eyes were red with anxiety, his body power exploded steeply, and he ran towards the universe regardless of everything. Escape, escape. In addition to this one thought, Hor's brain was blank. Reality was such a bonehead, giving Hor not much chance. 
His escape was fast, and he was about to break out of the atmosphere, when he saw the deep background of outer space, he revealed a smile, the joy of surviving after the robbery made him forget the defeat he had suffered earlier. You want to escape just like that, did I agree? Bardock's cold voice suddenly sounded beside his ears. The golden light rushed up from the ground to the sky, and Bardock had stopped in front of him. As if seeing a ghost, Horse Heart trembled, his face was swiftly pale to the extreme, he spat blood in despair, what to do, is it really going to die here? Hor then angrily roared, he sinisterly opened the purple pupils, apparently wanted to fight for his life. At this time, the thought of escape had been impractical, not to mention the ability to escape from the hands of this super scion. To escape, that the vastness of the endless universe he would wander alone for how long? At this time, King Hilch and King Cold must have known the situation on this side of the earth, but look at the Super Scion's momentum, perhaps even if his father came personally, it was also bad luck. It would be a dream to expect them to send a spaceship to Earth to save him, maybe they were already heading towards the so-called planet Namek. I'm not willing. With such grief and anger, Hor's heart was endlessly regretful. How he would not have come all the way to the North area if he had not received the message from King Cold. If not for the pursuit of Vegeta, he would not enter the Earth, the Dragon's Den. However, it was useless to think about this now. As in the original Frieza was not an opponent of the Super Saiyan state of Son Goku, Hor was also the same. In the hands of Bardock, he did not have any power to fight back. Your biggest mistake is to come to Earth. Bardock leapt to catch up with Hor, and then aimed his palm at Hor from a high position, a bright and eye-catching key power chop round and light fly over, all the way to cut open everything along the way. Puff. The expression stiffened on his face, and amidst a look of dismay and remorse, Hor's body was split into two halves by the sharp key chop. A pathetic end, but you are to blame for this. Bardock finished with an expressionless face and released a key wave to completely destroy Hor's torso. The enemy has finally been eliminated. When he saw that the battle was over, Son Goku said excitedly. Vegeta looked on in shock, this is the power of a super scion. I'll definitely have it too. Although the enemy was destroyed, but the environment here is also destroyed. Looking around the face of the prairie, Piccolo frowned, but to be able to preserve the earth in the face of such a powerful enemy, it had been very rare. Although he had experienced a dragon ball strengthening, in the face of increasingly strong enemies, the strength of the earth couldn't keep up again. Mr. Bardock, please use the dragon balls to resurrect Chasley. Vegeta put aside his condescension and pleaded with Bardock. Bardock stared straight at Vegeta for a long time, wait for this. Speaking of Vegeta's identity or the Earth's invaders, despite the science, he could not be spared because of his identity, not to mention the Dragon Balls was the Earth's secret treasure, how could it be so easy to lend? Vegeta probably knew this, so the request was particularly sincere. Eventually Vegeta borrowed the Dragon Balls as he wished, but also paid a great price. After successfully resurrecting Shasli, he would need to join the god Mu forces in the days to come and fight around for them, but of course such days were actually voluntary for Vegeta, who wanted to explore the secret of turning into a super scion from Bardock's body. Meanwhile, the other side of the universe. King Hilch learned through the contact device of the news of the death of his son Hor. His heart was saddened at the same time, but also shocked by the news coming from the Earth side, the Dragon Balls that Kin Grant wishes, does it mean that the rumors about the name Kian are true? Someone, hurry up and gather information about the name Kian for me. Compared to the death of his son, King Hilch was swayed by even more fiery emotions at this time. If the rumor of the Dragon Ball was true, then he was going to be happy. And Earth, he was not willing to risk. Hey, although that guy Hor died, but he brought me good news. I didn't expect that the tiny Earth is actually the stronghold of the god Mu forces, but it's really a dragon's den. King Cold's eyes glittered with a cold light, that Guy Hilch must have already gotten his idea on planet Namek. Someone, sail the king's ship to planet Namek, in addition, put the news out, I want more people to know that I went to planet Namek. King Cold believed in the authenticity of the Dragon Balls of Earth more than the illusory planet Namek. Soon, the news about King Cold's whereabouts leaked out through certain channels, and when it was learned that King Cold had led his army to planet Namek with great fanfare, King Hilch's side became even more anxious, and ordered his men to march towards planet Namek without much preparation. The intelligence network of the god Mu forces spread all over the north area, so of course they also got the news, and the results soon reached Earth. Bardock decided to reinforce planet Namek after thinking about it, 
and the experts sent were the elites of the god Mu forces. Sun Goku and others strongly requested to go, and Piccolo, because he had received instruction from Virgil, finally also followed along. When all the people hugely walking in the road to planet Namek, King Cold was leisurely drinking wine, sneaking towards the earth in a small spaceship. All of this seemed to be in his plan. Now that the strongest enemy had been lured by him to planet Namek, the Dragon Ball of Earth was within his reach. Universe 6 Two streams of light traveled through the dusty deep valley, both extremely fast, quickly separated after each collision, and then collided together again the next second. Two silhouettes were seen in the sky as they sped past, hitting the ground to the sky, and scurrying all the way down from the sky to the ground. The sky lightning and thunder, fist shadow intertwined, Kigong wave overflowed out, tiny gravel was directly crushed into pieces. All kinds of earth-shattering sound constantly came, just a few breaths, Muyang and Hit fought countless times. The flashing time technique was very strange, but under the restrictions of Muyang's acceleration world, this set of tricks lost its mystery for the first time, and now both Hit and Muyang were competing for their true strength, and many of their supernatural abilities were discarded. The two sides had been fighting back and forth for some days, but neither side could do anything to anyone. Chapter 503 on a broken stone hill, Hit, wearing his leather-like coat, sat still on the raised rock, his blood-red eyes looking ahead as the sun set over the hill, the sky reflected in red fire, the clouds as if they were on fire. You are the first person to have fought me for so many years and still be alive. Hit's hard voice said. Muyang laughed, so I'm really lucky. No, this is because you are strong enough, so strong that even I can't help you, and should be second only to God of destruction in the universe. Hit's words were few, and this was the first time he positively evaluated Muyang's strength. Hit's eyesight was extremely high, his own strength was the top of the Universe 6, the strength of the second only to the God of Destruction, the only time he failed was when he faced the destructive Kampa, but now, Hit's list of strong people to add the name of Muyang. Thank you so much. Muyang smiled lightly. The strength had indeed improved a lot in the past few years from a few years ago when he needed to borrow the power of the acceleration world to barely stay alive in front of Hit, to now being an even match. Hit said, my mission has been completed, I expect that the next time we meet we can still have a painful fight. The next time we meet, it might be the time of the Universe 6 and 7 martial arts tournament. Muyang thought silently in his heart, then nodded, goodbye, I'm going back to Universe 7 as well. Hit waved his hand towards Muyang, then stood up and turned his back to Muyang his hands in his pockets, his stride forward, and his figure became blurred, seemingly entering a mysterious other dimension. It's time for this adventure to end here, it's been a few years, I don't know how it is over in the seventh universe. Muyang took stock of the time, gee, it's already time for Vegeta to enter the earth. It's hard to say if he'll still come. The plot has been ruined by him, and the butterfly effect was even bigger, and Vegeta would eventually come to earth Muyang. Of course, the strength was achieved by him. He was no longer stuck to the so-called original story plot, because the familiarity of the plot could no longer help him, at most as a flavoring agent, adding a little taste to the plain life. The only thing was, for nothing less than a good show, his heart felt some regret. It's time to go back. Patting down the dust on his body, Muyang grinned and prepared to go back to Universe 7. However, just at this moment, the accelerated world in his consciousness violently and violently shook. The cluster of tremors emanated from the depths of the soul and seemed to have a feeling of tearing the soul apart, yet the next second the accelerated world calmed down again, as if it came and went without a trace, without a trace. Muyang was very attentive to the acceleration world to do some checks, and the result was it did not have any abnormalities. It's not the acceleration world, could it be the influence of the external world? Muyang sank his mind down the acceleration world was his most important magic treasure, something must not go wrong. Closing his eyes, the silver energy shone with a cold glow, a flawless pressure spread out, Muyang's mind spread out with the power of the acceleration world, as if the time had gone backwards, the light and strange visual scenery clashed directly with the sensory experience, Muyang stood on high overlooking the entire universe. Then the thinking continued to rise, and then into the chaotic sea of energy, where... There were several large blue-colored water balls resting peacefully, one, two, three, four, a total of four all-universe. Uh. Four? Muyang's soul suddenly hit a chill. He remembered that when he looked here a few years ago, it was clearly three full universes, when there was one more. 
the three multiverse time and space were divided into original story world, parallel world, and world formed by itself. The parallel world was generated long ago by the Universe 12 scientists using Time Machine. That time machine was now in the hands of Supreme Kai in Universe 12. Then, how was the fourth all-universe world born? Could it be that the violent shaking of the acceleration world before was because of this? Muyang, whose mind was hard to calm down, put his thoughts away and later thought that he still had the contact card of the time patrol in his hand, so he hurriedly contacted Patu and Nother who were on a mission. Mr. Muyang, so you have noticed the situation over there. The fourth multiverse was caused by people in a certain world messing around with time machines not long ago, it's not a big problem because it's within the multiverse space-time defense system and won't affect the world. Was the time machine caused by other parallel world trunks, or cell? After hearing the time machine, the first thing that came to Muyang's mind was them, but of course, he did not rule out the case that the time machine in Universe 12 was used again. The real problem facing us now is what the group from the Dark Demon Realm is planning again. What? How is it related to the Dark Demon Realm again? Muyang's face was puzzled. The story of Dark Demon Realm Patu had previously been introduced, and it seems to have something to do with Demon Kai Mechakabara. Patu located on the other side of space-time said, A few hours ago I and Nother just destroyed a space-time singularity, the location is out in that full universe where you live, the time is probably sometime 30 years ago. Getting Patu's answer, Muyang knew why his accelerated world would produce violent tremors, because someone was trying to split the space-time of this whole universe that Muyang was in. If the other side chose a little earlier, such as a hundred years ago, then the space-time split would have split, because after the split was a completely different parallel space. Muyang didn't believe that at that time the parallel space after the split, there would be another own soul from outside the sky to cross over. At most, there would be a parallel space and time without himself, and most of them would follow the plot development into the world of the original. No. Muyang snapped awake. The Dark Demon Realm's practice of creating space-time singularities was not as simple as time machine travel. When they jumped the timeline, the parallel space-time function of the entire universe was completely disabled, once they were allowed to change history, the world they were in would instantly collapse, and then all the energy would be absorbed by the Dark Demon Realm. Damn, one actually walked through the Ghost Gate without realizing it. The violent shaking of the acceleration world should be instinctive in self-preservation, wanting to break away from the current full universe. Although himself who had the acceleration world enchanted might not be destroyed along with the world because of the change in timeline, there were too many uncertainties. It's really too much trouble, suddenly found living in the Dragon Ball world is really full of crisis everywhere. Even if you are invincible one day, you still have to live in fear, as long as someone does something in the timeline, you will be knocked back to the original shape at once, the group in the Dark Demon Realm is too unstable. Muyang thought with a heavy heart. The good thing was that this time patrol acted fast to avoid a big disaster, but good luck wouldn't always be there, if the next time a person didn't let the other side get it, wouldn't he suffer along with them? If he could transfer himself out of the timeline, it would be good, Muyang thought whimsically. He was not afraid of the time machine, as long as he did not travel to the decades of their lives, there would not be a second self, and even if there was, as long as they do not meet, there was no embarrassment. The problem was the guys who traveled the timeline indiscriminately. Worried to think for a good, Muyang did not come up with a good solution, and finally found that just asking for trouble. If he had no way to solve the problem, he simply did not think about it. Sighing and looking around the dry environment, Muyang opened the ability to communicate with other worlds by accelerating the world, and instantly a short flash of haze passed, and the next second Muyang's figure left the universe 6. Chapter 504 Time Flew Time passed like a shuttle. When he returned to Universe 7, it had only been a few years since he left. The God of Destruction planet had never changed, and the cleansing of time did not seem to leave any traces here. Melia, Melis, and April were training in the God of Destruction planet environment created by Wiss. Now, the three of them were also in the stage of rapid improvement, and their strength had increased a lot compared to a few years ago. At this time, a silver lightning flashed. Wiss was slightly surprised and revealed a faint smile. Muyang, every time I see you, your strength changes. If you include the ability of acceleration world, the current you will be able to hold on for a while even if you face Lord Beerus. Wiss greatly praised the changes in Muyang's strength. The half-god level was a region with a relatively large gap in strength. If it were replaced by the level that Muyang knew, 
the Super Scion God had a preliminary step into the Half God level. The Super Scion Blue was the middle tier of the Half God level, and the Super the Scion Blue Evolution or Crimson stage was the peak of the Half God level. Only at this stage did one have the qualifications to compete with the God of Destruction. Form Wiang, who had the Acceleration World as his backing and had no limits to his strength, the increase in strength was like drinking water. Especially in the stage of showing comprehension of the realm, his advantage was even more obvious. Using martial arts as an example, other people had to work hard to train and accumulate, while he was directly using an ace to push through. It was really infuriating to compare people. But even so, the current Muyang was only able to compete with the god of destruction, Beerus. Wiss, how is my strength compared to Beerus? Muyang asked with interest. Wiss thought for a moment and said, with both sides not using special abilities, your strength is equivalent to 80% of Lord Beerus' strength. You can last for about 10 minutes. If Lord Beerus uses the power of the destruction god and you also use the power of the acceleration world, then it will be very difficult to judge. Perhaps Lord Beerus will instantly destroy you, or perhaps you will be able to resist the power of the destruction god. Although the result of the collision of rules is hard to predict, you will most likely lose. After all, your acceleration world is still growing, and it is temporarily unable to contend with the laws of the entire universe. Muyang nodded seriously. So there's still so much of a difference. His pure strength was equivalent to 80% of that of Beerus. Beerus had the destruction skill, and he had the obliteration ability. In terms of potential, he might be a little higher, but at this stage, he was definitely not a match for God-like. In the original story, Beerus faced Sun Goku, who had just reached the realm of Super Scion, and said that his strength was equivalent to 60 to 70 of him. Now it seems like it's mostly just a joke. It's already good enough to have 10. After all, Sun Goku and the others had used the power of multiple Scions in order to enter the God Realm. The real situation might be about the same. The Super Scion Red was about 10% of the strength of Beerus, and the Super Scion Blue was about 50%. The strength that Vegeta later reached was about 90% when he reached Super Scion Blue. By the way, Wiss, there is another parallel space outside the universe. Do you know about this? Wiss was stunned. He picked up the Divine Staff and looked at it, eh, that's right. Did someone use the time machine recklessly? That thing was forbidden by the gods. This is bad. My acceleration world was shaken violently before. He then told Wiss about what Patu knew and Wiss' expression became serious. There's such a thing. Unfortunately, the Dark Demon Realm is beyond the entire universe. There's nothing we can do. Wiss rarely felt troubled, but the Dark Demon world was one of them. These fellows kept disrupting the time axis, but only Time Patrol with Supreme Kai of Time subordinate could resist. The gods of the entire universe could only stare. After all, the gods of the entire universe were gods in the field of space. They didn't have deep attainments in time, so it was impossible for them to shuttle through the time axis. Muyang nodded and sighed, this is the most troublesome thing. Wiss nodded. That's right. Supreme Kai could use the spatial ring in his hand to investigate the number of parallel dimensions. The authority of an angel was a bit higher, and he could learn more things through the divine staff in his hand. However, even an angel could do nothing against a parallel dimension that had already been born. They could only try their best to reduce the possibility of a parallel dimension being born. At this time, Wiss suddenly smiled. In fact, the increase in the entire universe doesn't cause any special harm to the entire universe itself. It's just that there are more variables to be wary of. Muyang was stunned for a moment and asked in confusion, What do you mean? Wiss thought for a moment and decided to tell Muyang some secrets. When he first saw Muyang's acceleration world, he saw his potential. Simply put, the development of the entire universe is the same as the change of seasons. There is also a cycle. Every season, there is only one universe in the entire space-time, and there are 18 universes inside. But as the times develop, the number of parallel universes and the entire universe will increase one by one. This is actually very unstable, so Lord Zeno worked hard to eliminate the fallen universe under the supervision of the Grand Minister. Right, Lord Zeno and the Grand Minister are the highest gods in the entire universe. Wiss deliberately explained the identity of Lord Zeno and the Grand Minister. In fact, Muyang knew their identities. Lord Zeno has a multiverse supreme authority. He can clear out all universes and life, and the form is a bit similar to your obliterate ability. And when all the universes in the parallel worlds are wiped out, 
all the accumulated energy will form a completely new initial universe on the other side of the sea of time and space, and we angels will descend along with him. At that time, all Xenos, Grand Minister, and angels that were split apart because of the appearance of the parallel worlds would once again merge into one and carry out a new development. However, at that time, the newly born universe would no longer have you. So this was the reason why Zeno recklessly destroyed the universe, and the Grand Minister did not care at all. After Muyang heard this, he roughly understood that the destruction of the universe would not affect the highest gods. Only the eighth level and below would be in danger. And when all the internal universes of all parallel dimensions were destroyed, the season of the entire universe would end. Sometimes, when faced with problems that could not be solved, Zeno would even take the initiative to destroy all the universes and start a new season ahead of time. This was the power and ease of a high-level god. However, for low-level life and gods, it was too cruel. Space and time is the most mysterious and forbidden power in the world. The destruction of an entire universe is certainly not a small matter. It will be accompanied by the death of billions of lives. Although I have already seen this as a god, from the perspective of human nature, it is indeed a pity. Noticing the surprise on Wiang's face, Wu smiled and said, I think there is hope for your accelerated world. If it develops well, it might be able to bear the life of the seventh universe. I am looking forward to it. Muyang smiled awkwardly, this really makes me feel flattered. That's why you have to work hard. Recently, I heard that the king is very dissatisfied with the current universe. Maybe he will clean up the universe at any time. Wis calmly reminded. I know that Zeno has been cleaning the universe for more than a decade. It was the Zeno tournament of power. Muyang secretly said in his heart, but at least Wis reminder made him mentally prepared. Chapter 505 For high level god, the lives of mortals were not the focus of their attention. Their values were different from that of mortals. For them, ensuring the operation of the laws of the universe was the top priority. It was rare to see a god like Wis who could consider the lives of mortals. After learning the secrets of the entire universe from Wis, Muyang finally solved the doubts that had been buried in his heart for a long time. Why would the entire universe be destroyed without restraint? The reason was that the entire universe could be reborn again. Sometimes, using the life of a universe to exchange for the death of an unstable factor seemed to be quite cost-effective. Of course, this was the perspective of life on another level of consideration. Muyang could not understand this. In God of Destruction Planet, the wind was gentle. After ending the discussion with Wis, Muyang took a step forward and instantly appeared between Melissa and Melis. When the three people who were fighting saw Muyang appear, their bright eyes suddenly lit up and they actually attacked him at the same time. Muyang chuckled and raised a hand, drawing a beautiful arc in the air. Based on Muyang's current realm, although Melia and the others were comparable to Super Scion 3, they were still far from being comparable to half god level. Taking their attacks lightly, Muyang's figure flashed like a ghost and hit the three of them on their butts. Muyang, you actually hit my butt again. Melia looked shy as if she was recalling the scene when she was a child. Muyang laughed, this is your punishment for attacking me. Do you want to do it again? Melia rolled her eyes. I'm not coming. I can't beat you at all. Senior brother, when can we become as strong as you? April's small body leaned over. As her realm increased, the closer she got to the half-god level, the more she understood how difficult it was. Sometimes, when she was stuck for a step, no matter how much time she spent, she would not be able to break through. Take it slow. The cultivation realm must be calm and collected, Muyang consoled. April walked the traditional path of the entire universe, and what mattered most was the realm. As a legendary super scion, due to her innate nature, the road ahead was even more difficult. Because she could not comprehend the realm at all, if she wanted to advance to the half-god level, she could only rely on brute force. This kind of advancement was equivalent to leaving the mainstream in the entire universe. If Melia was a Beastman Scion, she could try to break through to Super Scion 4 in the GT world at this stage, but unfortunately, she was not. Moreover, Melia's so-called golden pupil state was essentially holding the power of the giant ape in her human form. Its content was already equivalent to Super Scion 4, so how could she achieve the breakthrough of Super Scion 4 in the GT world? Of course, the legendary Super Scion was also an extremely unreasonable physique. It was not that there was no hope of breaking through, but it was more difficult compared to it. After staying with Melia and the others for a while, Muyang took them away from Weiss and returned to Earth. Whoosh! 
After a sparkling light flashed, the four of them appeared in the small building on Great Azure Mountain. After not seeing each other for a few years, the two children had grown up. According to Melia and the others, Lazuli and Lapis had already been transformed by Android. Their bodies were now soaking in the underground laboratory. After meeting the two children, the few of them talked about the situation on Earth for the past few years. Only then did Muang know that Earth had been invaded by the people of the universe not long ago. Although the plot had been changed beyond recognition due to the influence of Muang, Vegeta still came to Earth as usual and was now following Bardock, Sun Goku and Piccolo to planet Namek. They have been away from Earth for almost a month. They should have already reached planet Namek. Mukyu asked Muang if he wanted to go to planet Namek. Muang shook his head and felt that it was enough to deal with the problem with Piccolo and the others. Oh right, what about the scion called Nappa? He and the son of Vegeta, Alex, are now detained in the lookout by Sister Kanalita. Sister Kanatita wants to send them to the central star of the god Mu Force. Send them over. In the future, they can stay with Raditz, Muang said. Mukyu smiled. Because the battle a month ago was broadcast live all over the world. After knowing the strength of aliens, the martial arts atmosphere on Earth seemed to have become hot again. I heard that the videos of the martial arts tournament have been sold crazily in the past few days. This is because I felt danger at close range. It was the same when the martial arts era first opened. It will calm down after a while. Humans were often a hot species and needed to be stimulated regularly. After a period of madness, they would calm down and forget many things. Muyang and Melissa hadn't returned home for a long time. However, their home had been cleaned up by Muayu, Amelia, and the others. After a short gathering with Broly and the others, Muyang brought Broly's son, Eluk, to the lookout to visit Kanalita. There, he saw the old Kami. The old Kami's forehead was full of vicissitudes. He had been living in seclusion above the temple for the past few years. His body was already emitting an aura of decay. He had a feeling that life was coming to an end. Muyang, I always have a bad feeling in my heart during this period of time. I thought it was Sion who invaded, but now it seems that it is not the case. The old Kami said the worry in his heart with a gloomy face. Oh, is there such a thing? Muyang was a little surprised. When he looked at Kanalita, Kanalita shook her head in confusion. Muyang thought for a moment and suddenly thought of something. He said to Kanalita, Kanalita, hurry to the west side of Earth, especially in the area near a mountain, See if you can find a strange flying device and confirm if there are any signs of corrosion on the glass cover of the flying device. Even though Kanalita didn't know what her teacher meant, she still went to the side and began to seriously search. Muyang, do you know something? The old Kami asked. Muyang shook his head, unable to determine if his thoughts were correct. The few of them waited patiently. At this time, little Elok began to run around the shrine mischievously. He met Alex, who was of the same age and the two children began to play. In a corner of the lookout, Nappa carefully hid behind a pillar. It's the person who took away Raditz. It turns out that he is a member of the god Mu Force. This is their base camp. Fortunately, when he came here with Nappa, he did not cause a big trouble. Otherwise, he would have been slapped to death. After seeing Muyang, Nappa was scared out of his wits. Fortunately, Sun Goku and the others came in time. If he waited for him to kill a portion of the people on Earth, what awaited him would be to be buried with him. Fortunately. About ten minutes later. Teacher, I saw it. In the mountains near District 1050 in the west, I found the spaceship you mentioned. When Weang heard this, a light flashed in his eyes. There are signs of corrosion on the glass cover of the flying device. Yes. Sure enough. Cell, who was riding the time machine, actually came to this world. Muyang did not think too much about which parallel world this cell came from. He got the specific location from Kanalita and told her to take good care of Ilk. Then, Muyang teleported away from the temple. In the next second, his figure appeared in Mount Baozu. Uncle Muyang. Bulma, who was drying clothes in the courtyard, cried out in surprise when he saw Muyang. Muyang said, Bulma, come with me to a place. There is something you need to study. What is it? Bulma asked. Time Machine. Muyang cut through metal. Chapter 506. The Time Machine was a device that often appeared in Science and Illusion. It shuttled through time and space and changed the cause and effect. As a top scientist, 
Bulma naturally understood the meaning of it. Moreover, it had appeared many times in her sister tights. It could be said to be famous. It was just that he had heard of it, but Bulma had never seen the time machine with her own eyes. When she first heard Muyang say that she had a time machine for her to study, Bulma's eyes suddenly lit up. Uncle Muyang, do you still have a time machine? Then she was puzzled, but with the technology on Earth, it should be impossible to create a time machine. Could it be made by aliens? Muyang smiled. Don't think too much. Although that time machine has a certain ability to shuttle through time and space, it is actually a space shuttle. You should know that there are many parallel worlds in this world. There are also many genius scientists who can invent a spaceship. Oh, so that's how it is. Bulma nodded. Borna had a very scientific mind, but she didn't think that there was anything more powerful than her in other worlds, because on Earth alone, like Dr. Brief, Dr. Jello, April, and Dr. Amori, who had passed away a long time ago, were all genius scientists that weren't inferior to her. In fact, this time machine was invented by you in a parallel space. Looking at Bulma's thoughtful expression, Muyang secretly muttered in his heart, but he didn't say the situation out loud. Whether it was the time machine of trunks or the time light machine that Cell rode, although they had the ability to travel through time and space at the beginning, it was later confirmed that this kind of travel was a one-time one, and the follow-up was just crossing space. However, to be able to travel through the entire universe space was also a very impressive achievement. As an inventor, Bulma was indeed a genius scientist. It was just that Bulma did not know about this right now. In another completely hopeless world, the enemy was already too powerful to be defeated. In the case of all the warriors dying, at that time, Bulma was at his wit's end. He could only work hard to study the time technology left behind by the doctor and the space technology left behind by Dr. Brief. He placed his hopes on using the time light machine to change the time and space. This idea was very vague and bold, almost impossible to see the hope of success but Bulma in the future world had no other way. Fortunately, the ending was not bad. Although the time machine did not directly save her world, it gave Trunks the hope of becoming stronger at that time and the world was finally saved. Floating thoughts stopped here. Muyang looked at Bulma. Pack up your things. I will take you to where the time machine is now. Okay. At this time, Bulma didn't care about the work in her hand. She hurriedly ran into the room to pick up her backpack. Muyang also told April about the situation through the communication device. After knowing the news, April also quickly rushed over. Brother, where is the time machine you mentioned? April had just appeared in an instant and came to Muyang to ask. On the mountainous region in the west outskirts of the city, but we will only know if it is a time machine after we study it. Although they had already confirmed that it was most likely a time light machine that Cell was riding in the lookout, they still needed professionals to determine that Bulma and April were the best professionals. Uncle Muyang, I am ready. Aunt April, you are here too. Bulma greeted with a smile after she finished packing up her things and saw April. Long time no see, Bulma. April smiled at Bulma. Then, the two of them were lifted up by Muyang's divine power. It was as if time and space were changing. The surrounding scene suddenly distorted. When they looked clearly again, they were already in the mountains. There were green but sparse vegetation around them. Muyang and the others were on a hill. Come with me. The time light machine is there. Following the path pointed out by Muyang, the few of them passed through the sparse bushes and found a machine covered by leaves in a small forest. This machine had five metal frames to support it. It looked like an erected capsule, and the upper half was transparent material. But now, the transparent material had corroded a large hole and the rest of the parts looked brand new, as if they had just been created not long ago. So the time machine looks like this. Carefully stroking the metal on the surface of the time machine, there were traces of scratches on some parts. At. Bulma let out a surprised cry and pointed at the logo on it. Why does this logo look like the symbol of the all-purpose capsule? April came over and wiped off the dust on the surface, revealing a circle of special patterns. It doesn't look like it. This is the Capsule Corporation. In this world, the Capsule Corporation was jointly established by Dr. Brief, April, and Dr. Jero. The logo was also designed by them. How could this be? This time machine actually has our company's logo on it. Could it be that it comes from the future? Bulma was surprised when he saw the logo clearly. April thought for a moment and shook her head. It shouldn't be the future. It might be from a parallel world. 
Muyang nodded. He was an expert in this aspect. There are four large worlds like ours in all of the dimensions. There are also many small fragments of worlds. The reason why this epic time machine appear here must be because it came from a world of the same scale as ours. After hearing this, April understood what Muyang meant. This time machine must have come from other universes, or else it would be impossible to penetrate the barrier of the entire universe. With her finger on her chin, she saw that a metal pillar of the time machine had a few letters engraved on it. It was the English word hope. Because she had been to the android world once, April immediately thought that there might be some kind of crisis in the future of Earth. On this side, Bulma was an action specialist. She bent over and pressed a button on the body of the plane. With a caw sound, the transparent glass cover on the upper half of the time light machine opened. Bulma jumped in and found two hemispherical shell insect. Uncle Muyang, Aunt April, look what this is. It was found in the cockpit. Bulma put the two outer shells together, forming a spherical shape. It seems to be an eggshell that is hatching something. Muyang flew up and held the two balls in his hand. He said to himself, this is Cell's eggshell. He really came here from another world. Take a look at the date of the departure of the time machine and the date of its arrival here, Muyang said to Bulma. Okay. Bulma searched around the cockpit in a flurry. After all, she was a genius scientist, so she quickly found a way to activate the machine. Uh, the pressed version was unexpectedly a bit familiar. Departure date 7. 88. Eh, it's actually 27 years later, and the date of arrival is a month ago, when the alien, Hor, invaded Earth. That's about it. In the original work, Trunks was born four years later. When he was 17, he used the time machine for the first time to find Son Goku with the special medicine for heart disease and told him about the android. Then he returned to the future and used three years to fill up the time machine again. After that, he found the design drawings of Android 17 and Android 18 together with Krillin and the others. The time when Cell snatched the time machine from Trunks was three years after Trunks killed Android 17 and Android 18 by relying on the design drawings, which was also 27 years later. The time he arrived on Earth happened to be when Vegeta invaded Earth in the original story. This Cell came from the original world. It was the most primitive Dragon Ball world. Chapter 507 Search Around maybe we can find something. Cell should have just come out of the eggshell at this time, and was still in the initial incubation stage. Muyang, April and Bulma searched around the time machine, and then found a creature like a cicada in the grass more than 300 meters away from the time machine. He was moving and struggling to remove the shell on the surface. Eh? What is so disgusting? Bulma picked up the wooden stick from afar and poked it. Bulma, stay away from him. Even if it were Cell who had degenerated into his original form, it was not something a weak woman like Burma could deal with. April approached Muyang and asked, Brother, what is this? Muyang said, he came from a parallel world in the year 788, which is 27 years later. When Bulma heard this, she carefully observed Cell. Cell had two hard shells on his head. His limbs were curled and his head was slightly cracked. He was in the process of turning into a shell. At the aura on its body is very chaotic, but I can feel the aura of Gaku and Piccolo. At the same time, there are also a few other evil auras. This kind of creature is obviously not born naturally. Could it be an artificial life? April immediately thought of the artificial human in the small world. It can't be an android again, right? Bulma asked in surprise. It's an android. Muyang nodded. Cell was a Sfusion super android for Sion, Namekian, and Frozen Kaln bloodline. However, due to the combination of too many high-level genes, they suppressed each other. They could only rely on devouring Vitality and Android 17 and Android 18 to obtain the final evolution. I want to study it. April's beautiful eyes flashed with a glimmer of light. Up to you. Muyang shrugged, indicating that he had no objections. To be honest, Cell's body had many complicated high-level genes that limited his development. Before he became a complete form, it was a problem whether he could reach the Super Scion 2. For Muyang and April, it was like a little mouse in an experiment, a good material. A smile bloomed on April's face. She held the cicada that was shedding its shell in her hand, and Cell immediately twisted it in resistance. Brother, look, he is actually resisting. Let me go, who are you people? According to the information, there shouldn't be people like you on Earth. Cell let out a hoarse roar, 
like the cry of a cicada, which was especially ear-piercing. You can still talk. April was even more interested. The hand that was holding Cell directly transformed into the shape of a demon. Her tender arms changed shape like plasticine and directly wrapped Cell. Cell found that his resistance had no effect at all. Impossible, how can there be such a powerful guy on Earth? Are you an android? No, other than Android 17 and Android 18, there shouldn't be other android in this era. A cold light flashed in Apulian's blue eyes. You know Android 17 and Android 18. Cell did not answer. Muyang said, he is called Cell. He is a super android created by Dr. Jero on the blueprint of Dr. Jero. Because too many genes were integrated into his creation, he needs to devour Android 17 and Android 18, mainly swallowing black stones, to evolve from the complete form. But in the era he was in, the android has been destroyed, so he had to grab the time machine to come to us. April's smile became brilliant. So it's to devour Android 17 and Android 18. I almost understand his existence. Android 17 and Android 18 were Lapis and Lazuli. They were the two well-behaved juniors of April. Now, someone actually wanted to devour them, and it was known by her as an elder. Thus, it was easy to imagine the fate of Cell. Brother, send me to Acceleration World. I want to study the cicada there. Muyang smiled and nodded. Then, he opened Acceleration World's passageway. No, it shouldn't be like this. The computer told me that as long as I devour Android 17 and Android 18, I can be invincible. I clearly came to this era. I can't accept this. Cell twisted his body to come out of his body. However, April's magic wrapped around him. The more he tried, the faster the power in his body flowed. If this continued, he would not even be able to maintain his original form. Be honest. April shouted coldly. She grabbed Cell and entered Acceleration World. As for what would happen to Cell if he fell into April's hands, it was unknown. It would not be good anyway. Muyang was not worried about April's safety at all. Not to mention that Acceleration World was completely under his control, just based on April's own strength and ability, Cell could not resist even if he wanted to. In terms of devouring ability, how could Cell compare to April, who had the ability of Mage and Bu? It would be good if he was not devoured. Uncle Muyang, is that guy also an artificial human? Bulma was shocked. After getting Muyang's confirmation, Bulma sighed, so android can still be so ugly. I thought all artificial human beings were modified according to the human body. Because of the good genes in their bodies, they were both beautiful and handsome. April was also a natural beauty. Even if she showed her demonic form, she was full of charm. Only Cell looked like a monster, completely breaking the impression that Bulma had of android. That guy is a creature that Dr. Jello of another world synthesized based on the genes of various races. He is not a natural creature. Then, he told them about the future of the parallel world. So that's how it is. The other world is very miserable. In the other world, I actually married that Vegeta. I can't believe it. Why would I give up on Gaku? Bulma shook his head, feeling worried for his own aesthetics. Because it's a parallel space, the development is different. There are no Melia and I there. Lazuli and Lapis are also demons that destroy the world. Bulma knew that parallel worlds could not be mixed with her own world, so she did not continue this topic to avoid making herself feel uncomfortable. Once again, she jumped into the time machine. Bulma checked every button in the cockpit. From time to time, she would think about the principle of the time machine. She wanted to see how the brain of the other world was grown. To actually be able to develop such an epic-making equipment like the time machine, it was indeed amazing. Muyang saw that Bulma was studying the time machine in high spirits, so she did not disturb her. She contacted the Capsule Corporation and asked them to send more people to help Bulma. Then, she opened Acceleration World's passage and walked in alone. When she stepped into Acceleration World, she saw that April had already opened her large experimental platform. Cell was fixed on the experimental platform by something pink like rubber. It was the body tissue of Majin Bu. Brother, help me. I want to dissect his body to see the internal structure. Muyang smiled faintly. All right. Afra immediately picked up the strengthened blade used for surgery and cut open the hole in Cell's chest. Then, strange internal organs were extracted one by one and placed into different training devices to store them. 
Sel was already dumbfounded at this time and struggled with all his might. This was completely different from what he had imagined before he transmigrated. Chapter 508 Sel was a genetically bio-android created by a supercomputer. When he was born, the computer kept telling him that as long as he absorbed the Android 17 and Android 18, he would become a unique super-artificial human in the world. At that time, no one in the world would be his match. Sel believed in this and put in all his efforts for it. When he learned that the Android 17 and Android 18 in this world had been killed by Trunks, in order to achieve the complete form of the computer, Cell planned to seize the time machine from Trunks and use it to venture to other worlds. However, Cell was not very lucky. He came to the world where Muyang was. This world was completely different from what he had imagined. He did not see Android 17 and Android 18, but was instead captured by a strange couple that was not in the data. When April took the strengthened blade and cut out his internal organs bit by bit, Cell struggled with all his might, but it was all to no avail. Looking at his organs being separated and kept separately, Cell's heart completely chilled. His ambition had not yet been carried out, but it had already ended. Cell, your vitality is very strong. If it were for an ordinary life form, it would have died long ago. But you can still struggle. Can you tell me the secrets? April asked as she cut open Cell's head with a shiny silver scalpel. Cell stared at her blankly. You're not telling me, right? It doesn't matter. I can find out the secret myself. April smiled. In this era, there is something called immortal beans. Well, looking at your eyes, you must know about Senzu beans. As expected of someone from a parallel space. I have a lot of Senzu beans here, so I won't let you die before I figure out your secret. Who are you? Why is there no information about you in my database? Cell's hoarse voice rang out. April smiled and said, Hee hee, I'm also an expert in android technology. In other worlds, I'm probably android 21, but I'm different from her. Android 21. Cell was stunned. Ignoring Cell's surprise, April opened Cell's head and found a small crystal-like object in his mind. It was like a chip. What is this? Eh. Uh, it can actually run around in the organization. April suddenly became interested, a charming smile climbed up her face, and her image immediately changed into the form of a demon. Then, she released the magic of the Majin Bu to imprison the crystal-like object. Her hand raised the knife, and with a click, the crystal-like object was stripped out of the brain tissue of Cell. And after losing this crystal-like object, Cell's struggling body also stopped swaying. This thing is Cell's core chip. Muyang walked over and explained. Chip. April carefully observed it and said in surprise, so Cell's life consciousness comes from here. As long as this chip is not damaged, his body can regenerate infinitely. Cell contains the genes of the name Kian, plus the super vitality of the frozen clan. As long as he has enough energy, his organized organs can regenerate infinitely. April probably knew the secret of Cell's body, so she carefully placed the crystal chip into the transparent vessel. Brother, I want to spend a bit of time to rearrange this chip. You set up a separate acceleration field for me. April looked up at Muyang, her pink white hair fluttering. After Muyang broke through the sixth limit, acceleration world was the fastest to accelerate time by 128 times. Muyang naturally readily agreed to April's request. He also wanted to see what Cell, who had been rearranged by April, would look like. With a gentle wave of his arm, he accelerated time on his own to April's laboratory. If he were to stand outside the acceleration area and look inside, he would feel a strange incongruity due to the incongruity of his senses and vision. In the time acceleration field, April was focused on studying the cell chip. Such a woman exuded a sense of intellectual beauty. Seeing April immersed in it, Muyang smiled and left acceleration world. Cell had finally crossed the world, but it was his misfortune to fall into the hands of April who specialized in restraining him. However, when it came to Cell, Muyang suddenly became more interested in his path of evolution. Although Cell was still in the primitive stage where he had just shed his shell, there were still several stages such as growth, maturity, and complete. There was also a lightning form above the complete form. It was almost the ultimate form. Why did it look like a digital treasure? In fact Cell's four forms were, imperfect form, semi-perfect form, perfect form, and super-perfect form correspond to ordinary super scion. Ascended Super Scion, Full Power Super Scion, and Super Scion 2. Super Perfect Form was Scion's Super Scion 2 form. 
Now that Melissa has a super scion 2 level maid, Milif, and April will probably have an attendant that specializes in sundries. On the mountain on the west side, Bulma was studying the time machine in high spirits. At this time, the all-purpose capsule employees who received Muyang's instructions also arrived at the mountain area one after another. Then, under the command of Bulma, they carefully moved the time machine back to Mount Baozu. Be careful. This equipment is very valuable. There won't be a second one if it is damaged. The rubber on the anti-crash layer has to be thicker. Be careful, be careful. Although there was a space restraint button for the all-purpose capsule on the time machine, Burma attached too much importance to this time machine. She would rather work hard to carry it far away. She didn't want it to be convenient. She used the space technology to store it so as not to hurt the interior of the instrument. Bulma, I will go back first. You can do the next research yourself. Muyang said to Blurma after coming out from Acceleration World. Bulma was escorting the transport team. After hearing the voice, he said, Uncle Muyang, you can leave first. Muyang nodded and suddenly said to her, By the way, this time machine has been filled with fuel before Cell used it. Although it was used by Cell once, the fuel was not exhausted. In theory, this machine can perform another space jump. So you have to be careful when you study it. Don't let any accidents happen. Boma nodded seriously. I know. Boma was a bit more active when he was young, but he became much more stable after marriage. Therefore, Muyang was also very reassured about her. Seeing her nod, he smiled at her and then teleported back to the Great Azure Mountain. Seeing that Muyang had returned alone, Melia and Melis asked about April's whereabouts. After learning about Cell, the two girls also expressed their interest in seeing the android from another world. In addition, Mukiu and Amelia also seemed to be very interested. Muyang simply waved his hand and sent the few people into Acceleration World. After Melia and Melis left, Muyang sat alone in the courtyard for a while, conveniently comprehending the mysteries of the breakthrough of the true god level. However, after sitting quietly for a long time, he still could not grasp the gist of it.s. The true god level is indeed more profound than imagined. It is still a big step away from breaking through. Letting out a sigh, Muyang stood up and smoothed out the patterns on his clothes. Then, he walked towards the depths of Great Azure Mountain. That was the place where the disciples of the Kami school trained. Sometimes, he would also gain some insights while guiding the juniors. At the same time, in the starry sky outside of Earth, a small spaceship was approaching Earth at a speed several times faster than the speed of light. Soon, a blue planet appeared in the star map of the spaceship. King Cold's tall body sat in the cockpit. In order to not attract attention, he brought a driver and did not let anyone follow. Hee <laughs> hee, we've finally arrived on Earth. God Mu Force's Super Scion is in the planet Namek to deal with the Hilch. No one here is a match for me. A cold light flashed in the eyes of King Cold, and then he revealed a sinister sneer. The Dragon Ball will soon be ours. Clenching his fists towards the blue planet in his field of vision, King Cold laughed evilly as if victory was assured. The overwhelming energy turned into substance that made people unable to breathe. Chapter 509 According to the data collected, the Namekian people did have magical abilities. Then the rumors about the Dragon Ball were mostly true. The Namekian probably had a Dragon Ball. However, compared to the Namekian Dragon Ball, King Cold valued the Dragon Ball that had already been confirmed to exist on Earth. King Cold first released a signal and lured King Hilch to the planet Namek. Then, he revealed the news and tricked the Super Scion of the God Mu forces to planet Namek. There were two purposes for this. First, he wanted the Super Scion to stop King Hilch, in case planet Namek really had a Dragon Ball. Second, he wanted to reduce the threat on Earth and lure all the people who could pose a threat to him out of Earth to eliminate the obstacles when he searched for the Dragon Ball. When there were no experts on Earth who could stop him, he would descend to Earth in a leisurely manner. This was King Cold's plan. After thinking it over several times from beginning to end, King Cold was confident that it was foolproof. His deep gaze turned to Earth. King Cold's cold face revealed a smile. With a wave of his hand, he ordered the pilot to move the spaceship toward Earth. Ka! The spaceship landed in a small village far away from the city. The environment here was fresh and the air was pure. Because the town was built on a plain, it was surrounded by vast fields and lush trees. The hatch opened and the metal stairs extended outwards. The three-meter-tall King Cold stepped onto the earth. King O'Cold looked at the surroundings with a cold smile. 
his scarlet eyes looked at the pilot. Wait here peacefully. Without our orders, you are not allowed to leave the spaceship and you cannot contact the headquarters. The pilot shuddered. Don't worry, your majesty. I will follow your orders. King Cold nodded lightly, a cruel smile on his face. If not for the fact that he still needed the other party when he returned, King Cold wouldn't have wanted to keep his life at all. The Dragon Ball shouldn't be a big secret on Earth, but the people who have actually seen it must be a minority. I need to find the people who know the whereabouts of the Dragon Ball. King Cold thought for a moment and decided to directly find the most powerful person on Earth. In the view of the strong being respected, the strong were the rulers of the planet. The three-meter-tall body rose into the air. King Cold used the detector to move towards the place where the energy reaction was the most intense sacred land of Korin. This evil aura. Just like the universe person from a month ago. In the lookout, Kanalita looked at the lower realm with a solemn expression. He had light purple skin and dark combat suit. He had two dark horns on his head. His face was cold and his entire body exuded a deep and cold killing intent. When Kanalita noticed King Cold, she was immediately intimidated by the evil aura on his body. Her expression became extremely grave. This guy is even stronger than the previous universe people. Just the aura he revealed is enough to make people tremble. Could it be that this is the frozen clan that teacher mentioned before? They are too powerful. At this time, Mr. Bardock happened to be at the planet Namek. Kanalita shook her head solemnly. This matter had exceeded her ability to handle. However, since the sky had fallen, there would naturally be tall people holding it up. There were many experts on Earth. The responsibility of Kanalita was only to discipline the ordinary people on Earth. The matter of dealing with the people of the universe should be left to the other experts. On to Kanalita, there is a very powerful person coming in this direction. A four-year-old boy grabbed onto the sleeves of Kanalita. It was Eluk. Broly and Launch's son. Kanalita looked at him strangely, you can feel the other party's aura. Yes, Dad taught me. Eluk nodded. What a powerful little fellow. Kanalita rubbed Eluk's head. When she was at her age, she was still receiving the most basic physical training. She could not sense others with her breath. As expected of Broly's son. He is too talented. Her eyes looked at the other child Alex. Although the child was not as good as Eluk, he was still much better than the people on Earth. Scion and Earthling's hybrid had a very high innate talent. This was why both modern Scion's bloodline and Earthling bloodline had their own strengths. Looking at Eluk, Katarina thought of Broly, so she used the ability of the god to get in touch with Broly. At this time, Broly was sitting at home, weaving a basket with bamboo strips. The wind blew in the courtyard, and Launch was training with Milif, the maid of Melissa. After receiving a call from Kanalita, Broly nodded and put down his work. His deep eyes looked in the direction of Korin Tower. There was a strong energy in that direction. Launch, I need to go out for a while, Broly said to Launch. Is it because of that aura just now? Launch stopped her battle with Milif. When King Cold entered Earth, all martial artists with a bit of perception had discovered his whereabouts. The powerful energy source that was as bright as the sun was like a searchlight in the dark night. It could be found from afar. Yes. Broly nodded. I'll go with you. I've never seen such a powerful universe person. Broly looked at Launch with difficulty. Launch's martial arts were naturally not bad, but compared to the alien who came to Earth, she was still far too lacking. For the sake of Launch's safety, he should not bring her. You don't want to take me with you? I'm going to get angry. Launch's expression immediately became nasty, pinching Broly's arm and threatening him. Then, all right, be careful. Broly muttered, since the other party wasn't particularly powerful, he just had to be careful. Milith walked over to Broly and Launch with light steps. How about I go with you? You don't need to look after Great Azure Mountain. Lord Muyang is here. I don't think anything will happen. If even Muyang couldn't deal with it, then it would be futile to have one more Milith. Broly thought about it and agreed. Milith was a super scion two powerhouse. If he let her follow Launch, then even if there was a problem later, she would be able to protect Launch. All right, let's go together. Launch couldn't wait to fly into the air, and then flew towards the direction of Korin Tower. Broly and Milith nodded and flew after him. They were faster than Launch and quickly reached the periphery of the Holy Land. Whoosh! The three of them stopped and stood in front of King Cold. It's this guy. 
his aura is quite strong. Launch glanced over and saw the tall and sturdy King Cold, who was wearing a cloak. He only managed to speak after being hit by King Cold's dark aura. It's all right. Briari looked at King Cold. Brol was very muscular, but compared to the three meter tall King Cold, he was much shorter. Who are you? King Cold looked at the three of them, eh, he looks very strong. Although he didn't have the ability to sense the aura, King Cold had been through hundreds of battles, and he quickly felt something different from Broly. Broly. Broly stood in front of King Cold and flew to the same height as him. This guy is no worse than his youngest son Frieza. King Cold revealed a surprised expression. Broly. Oh right, I've seen this person before in the previous information. He is also a member of the god Mu Force, but he rarely makes a move. He <laughs> he, interesting, there is actually such an expert hidden in god Mu Force. King Cold guessed that Broly's strength should not be inferior to Frieza, but in fact, Broly's current normal strength was indeed not inferior to Frieza's base form, and his combat strength exceeded a hundred million. Chapter 510 King Cold sized up Broly, and a sense of superiority rose in his heart. At his peak, King Cold wasn't any weaker than Cooler. He had a power level of 500 million, which gave him the confidence to look down on everything. As for Launch and Milif, he simply ignored them. Under normal circumstances, Milif and Launch weren't too strong, so they naturally couldn't attract his attention. Broly, I have heard of your name. You are a fierce general in the god Mu forces, but you are no match for me. King Cold chuckled, his tone confident. His purple lips moved slightly, but as long as you tell me about the Dragon Ball, we can generously spare your life. Are you looking for the Dragon Ball? That's right. The King Cold looked at Broly with a fervent gaze. Broly shook his head, you're late. Earth's Dragon Ball has just been used. Every time the Dragon Ball makes a wish, it needs a year of adjustment, so the next time it is used will be a year later. When the King Cold heard this, his face turned ugly. Who used our Dragon Ball? His voice contained a monstrous rage, and the King Cold's blood-red pupils emitted a cold chill. Then, an overwhelming killing intent enveloped down from the sky, covering the entire sacred land of Korin. His purpose of coming to Earth was to obtain the Dragon Ball, and now someone actually told him that the Dragon Ball had been used. Didn't that mean that his wish was going to be ruined? On the contrary, the King Hilch who was going to Panit Namek was more likely to obtain the Dragon Ball than him. Thinking of this, the King Cold was furious. You better make things clear. We hate being deceived. King Cold's voice was cold. Broly frowned, your aura makes me dislike it. Ha ha ha. You don't want to tell me? If you don't tell me, I'll kill those two women. King Cold was so angry that he laughed. He looked at Launch and Milith with infinite killing intent. He spread his aura and rushed at Launch and Milith with an awe-inspiring killing intent. Hey! Since when had Milith been targeted like this? Her face turned cold and she was about to turn into a super scion. However, before she could transform, a figure flashed by. Broly was within a meter of King Cold and his hard iron fist landed on King Cold's abdomen. Kaka, a powerful blow shattered the battle suit on the King Cold's body. King Cold bent his waist, his eyes bulging out, bloodshot, his expression extremely ugly. I don't like you looking at launch with killing intent. Broly floated above the King Cold's head, looking down at him from above. Cough cough. King Cold coughed loudly. I didn't expect you to be so strong. God Mu Force has hidden his power well enough, but you are still no match for me. To tell you the truth, we are not in our peak state right now. We have to compress our strength in order to save our strength. Our true strength is far more terrifying than it is now. King Cold raised his head proudly, his cold face full of arrogance. King Cold was the same as Frieza. He usually maintained a relatively primitive state in order to save his strength. Only when he encountered danger would he release it instantly. The difference was that King Cold was stronger than Frieza. His normal state was that Frieza had released his first transformation. Now, I will let you experience my full strength. As he spoke, the face of King Cold twisted, his entire body emitting a terrifying aura. Broly looked at him calmly, letting him display his strength to his heart's content. Broly's attitude made King Cold heave a sigh of relief. He never thought that on Earth, he would actually need to use his full strength. Boom. 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 Countless blinding lights flashed, and King Cold began to gradually release the power in his body. After a wild roar that shook the world, 
a mighty energy surged out like an avalanche. The continuous mountain range was suddenly covered by an air pressure, and the tall trees were broken one after another. The energy that had nowhere to vent continued to press down, and immediately entered the ground level. For a time, the entire earth trembled. Even the shrine that was tens of thousands of meters high trembled slightly. This terrifying aura is a bit similar to the aura that teacher discovered before. Kanalita looked on in confusion, but because Broly and the others were below, there was no nervousness on her face. So strong, his chi is still growing stronger. Korin stood next to the water tank, paying attention to the situation in the lower realm. At this time, the ki that King Cold displayed was already several times stronger than the previous whore but it was still growing stronger. The intensity had already exceeded Corin's imagination. At the same time, all the martial artists in the world were shocked by this terrifying aura. On Great Azure Mountain, Muyang was paying attention to the situation in Corin Tower. After feeling the King Cold's anger, a smile appeared on his lips. King Cold's aura is indeed much stronger than Frizz's. Is that his ultimate form? Well, even Cooler is much stronger. Cooler's full strength was about 4.7 billion, while King Cold's current energy was close to 500 million. Haha, <laughs> my entire body is filled with power. I only need to lift my hand to destroy this fragile planet. King Cold enjoyed the destructive power of his actions. He had already completed his transformation. His form was similar to the ultimate state of Frieza, but his body and face were more burly and mature than Frieza's. His aura was also more terrifying. Around his body, there was a hazy and powerful, suffocating power. Lancha's eyes were shining as she watched, but her body was hiding behind Milif. So this guy still has some ability. Milif said indifferently, just so-so. Broly said expressionlessly, a little stronger than the guy from a month ago. Tell me everything about the Dragon Ball. We can let you die a quick death. King Cold arrogantly issued an ultimatum to Broly and the others. Broly ignored King Cold and turned to look at Milif. Do you want to come or do you want me to? Milif gently combed her hair. I will take care of launch for you. Broly nodded. Okay. King Cold looked at Broly and Milif talking at a moderate pace. He didn't take his threat to heart at all. His heart suddenly skipped a beat. He was so cautious that he couldn't help but wonder if he had missed something. King Cold's eyes were even more cautious. All his strength hit. Actually, the Super Scion on this planet is not just Uncle Batko alone, Broly said lightly. What do you mean? King Cold frowned. I am also a Super Scion, and I am the legendary Super Scion. After saying that, Broly's expression became serious, and his entire body suddenly blossomed with a golden brilliance. Then, a green and lustrous light covered the golden light, and his body became burly. His originally robust body became even more tall and straight. His black hair fluttered in the air waves, and his eyes shone with a strong golden light. Golden Eye State Broly's Golden Eye State was comparable to Melissa's Golden Eye State, which was the full power level of Super Scion, but with Broly's 100 million power level, his Golden Eye State directly reached 8.5 billion, surpassing the average Super Scion too. And me. Milif smiled brightly, and with a crash, the silver lightning beat with a crackling sound. It was the form of Super Scion too. Two overwhelming momentum crushed over, and King Cold's expression suddenly froze, and then his scalp went numb. Chapter 511 It really is a super scion. King Cold took a deep breath, and then noticed the tail coiled around the waist of Broly and Milif. Although the two figures in front of him were slightly different from the super scion he had fought before, he still felt the same thing from the golden light of the other party. So what? Even other super scion would not be my match. Rumble. King Cold released a powerful energy. Bang! A huge energy bomb flew towards Broly. Broly stared at it. He actually stood still and allowed the energy ball to land on his body. After a bright light, Broly walked out from the smoke. He was completely unharmed. The clothes on his body were only slightly charred. How can he be unharmed? The King Cold looked at Broly in disbelief. Your attack is nothing but this. You can't hurt me at all. Broly who was in the golden pupil state, was extremely domineering. He walked towards King Cold step by step. His burly body gave King Cold an infinite sense of oppression. King Cold immediately felt his scalp go numb. He actually had a feeling that he couldn't win against them. How was this possible? King Cold clenched his teeth tightly. His eyes flashed as he looked at Launch and Milif who were not far away. 
he didn't believe that those two women were also so powerful. With a whoosh, King Cold pounced towards Milif. But in the next second, King Cold's attack came to a halt. A slender little hand was placed in front of his fist, making it impossible for his attack to move forward. King Cold's pupils shrank into a small black dot in an instant. A chill surged from his tail through his spine, and cold sweat appeared on his forehead. He wanted to retract his fist. But at this time, Milif grabbed his wrist with a backhand. King Cold could not break free. You dare to come to Earth with just this bit of strength. Milif's voice was clear and cold. Her dark green eyes flashed with a trace of cold light. Then, she exerted force, and with a crack, the entire arm of King Cold was broken. You, you. King Cold's voice trembled, his eyes bloodshot. At this time, how could he not know the difference between the two sides? Compared to Broly and Milif's strength, his strength was like a firefly competing with the bright moon, fragile like an ant. Previously, King Cold thought that the other party would be very strong, but he never expected that it would be so powerful that he could not even muster the courage to fight. As the ruler of a force, King Cold was not someone who could not see the situation clearly. At first glance, he knew that he could not win this battle, so there was no need to fight. Not a match. King Cold knew in his heart. In the next moment, he chose to escape. At this time, not to mention asking about the Dragon Ball, saving his life was the most important thing. As long as he left Earth, he would hide far away from the other party in the future. Even if the Eastern forces should give up, he still had to give up. Crash. With the last method of escape, King Cold had no choice but to shout. All the muscles in his body instantly tensed up and released all the strength, his body moving fast and fast. Unfortunately. Bang. A strong body blocked the front, raising his eyes to look, Brawl's even more tall body completely sealed off his escape route. Broly looked at King Cold expressionlessly, and then pressed down on King Cold's head. The powerful force made him completely unable to move. Earth is not a place where you can come and go as you please. You have disturbed the peace here, and the other experts do not want to make a move. Then I will destroy you on your behalf. And, the other experts. King Cold was at a loss. Of course. My younger brother and sister are slightly weaker than me, but my three adoptive parents are several times more powerful than me. My adoptive father made me even more afraid to think about it. If they want to kill you, they only need to move their fingers. Ah. King Crude realized that there were actually crouching tigers and hidden dragons on Earth. Other than the two extremely powerful people in front of him, there were actually other experts. And he had actually come all the way here obediently. King Cold wanted to cry but had no tears. You have so many experts. Why are the God Mew forces hiding on the side of the North area for so many years? That is just a base that my foster father casually built to nurture the younger generation. If you have the heart, even ruling the entire Universe 7 would be easy. Although he didn't know what size Universe 7 was in, from the words of the other party, King Cold already knew what kind of terrifying person was behind the God Mew Force. Could it be that behind the God Mew Force is Majin Bu, or the God of Destruction, Lord Beerus? This is not something you should know. Broly increased the force in his hand. Pop. King Cold's face turned green. The force from the top of his head made him dizzy. The pain was extremely severe. He had already realized how stupid his decision to come alone was. However, it was too late to regret it now. P.U. King Cold's head was forcibly crushed. After losing his head, his body powerlessly fell from the air. Cold blood sprayed out along the fracture. When Broly saw this, he threw out another chi wave, directly destroying King Cold's entire body. The poor King Cold was famous for his heroic life, but because of the wrong information, he was buried on Earth. Wow, Broly, you were so domineering just now. I was attracted by you. Launch flew to Broly and shouted. When Broly used the power of the El Gendari Super Scion, he actually had such a strong and powerful side. It was really a waste to let him follow him as a bandit in the past. Broly chuckled and returned to his normal state, scratching his head in embarrassment. Even if I saw young Master Broly's power, I would be surprised, just like Lady Melissa in the past. Every time she thought about how she was captured by Melissa on Planet Sala, she would break out in a cold sweat. Actually, it's not that powerful. Broly said bashfully. Launch patted Broly's shoulder, her cheeks flushed red, as if Broly's strength had given her a great deal of face. In the future, 
when she went outside, she had to let everyone know that her husband was the strongest. At this time, Broly, Launch, and the others did not stay in the sacred land of Corin. Remembering that their son was still above the lookout, Broly and the others directly went to the shrine. Dad, Mom. In the shrine, after Alec saw Broly and Launch, he immediately pounced towards them. Launch bent down to pick up Alec and kissed his son on the face. Kanalita walked over from the side, Launch, Broly. Then, she nodded politely at Milif. Teacher. Sister Kanalita. Launch and Broly greeted Kanalita. I'll have to trouble you guys this time, especially Broly. He solved a big problem for me. However, Launch, you haven't grown much over the years. Do you still want me to train you? There is a place called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber in the lookout. Why don't you go in and stay for a while? Launch smiled awkwardly, Teacher, I think we should forget about it. Broly is strong enough to protect me. Kanalita knocked on Launch's head and said, It's a waste of your talent. Mrs. April said that you have outstanding genes and are good material for martial arts. The potential genes in Launch's body broke through the S-cell blockade in the human body of the Earth. To a certain extent, it was similar to the Super Scion of Broly's legend. If April could find a way to break through the blood blockade of the Earth people in the future, then Launch was also a legendary Super Scion. It was a pity that Launchy's character was not good enough, and Kanalita could only sigh. Chapter 512 Why are you the only one back? Where are Launch and Elok? In a low-key and luxurious building, Muyang saw Broly and Milith who had returned from the temple. However, Launch, who was with him, did not return with him. Broly sat opposite Muyang and said with a relaxed expression, Launch and Elok were left in the lookout by Sister Kanalita. Sister Kanalita was very dissatisfied with Launch's situation and planned to lock her in the spiritual time room to train for a while. When Muyang heard this, he could not help but smile. This daughter-in-law of his was indeed vile. The golden-haired Launch was a woman with a violent personality. Perhaps only Kanalita could control her. She nodded and said, it's good to exercise a little. Launch's talent is actually not bad. There is also Elok. It's best to train from a young age. I know. Broly listened carefully. Milif stood beside Muyang cautiously. Muyang glanced at her without saying anything. He thought for a moment and said to Milif, by the way, Milif. Go to the underground research institute and cover the cultivation chamber soaked in lazuli with a curtain. Tell me when you are done. Yes, Lord Muyang. Milif nodded seriously and then walked towards the underground research room. After Milif left, Broly asked in confusion, Father, why did you cover up the cover of the pod? The physical transformation of lazuli and lapis is approaching completion. They should wake up in a while. There were some problems when your mom completed the transformation, so in order to prevent the same thing from happening again, I think it would be better to transfer them to Acceleration World. Moreover, Mukyu and Amelia are currently in Acceleration World. If we don't send them in, those two children won't be able to train in peace. Broly nodded thoughtfully. Muyang chatted with Broly about some cultivation matters and asked him with concern when he would be able to reach the legendary Super Scion transformation state. Broly rubbed his chin in embarrassment, it might still take a few more years. Muyang patted Broly on the shoulder, continue to work hard, and reach the same state as Melissa as soon as possible. The legendary Super Scions had roughly a few transformation states, Golden Pupil State, Super Scion, Legendary Super Scion. Broly was currently still in the Golden Pupil State, but with his powerful normal combat strength, even the Golden Pupil State possessed strength that far exceeded that of ordinary Super Scions too. If one were to talk about people who were most likely to reach the half-god level in the near future, there were Melissa, April and Broly on Earth, but the first to break through, Muyang believed that it wasn't Malia and the others who had trained for many years in God of Destruction planet, but Broly. Broly's talent was even better than Melissa. Muyang even guessed that when Broly became stronger, his transformation would reach the half-god level. Therefore, Muyang had always been very concerned about Broly's training. Wiss had previously analyzed the cultivation system of the entire universe with Muyang. Because the entire universe walked the path of the realm, the gods above level 7 dimensional were called realm gods. However, Wiss had also said that outside the entire universe, there was also the division of power gods and order gods. The general level was about the same. Muyang did not know what was different between power gods, order gods and realm gods, but as long as they existed, there must be a way to advance. 
April could comprehend the realm step by step, but Melissa and Broly most likely would not be able to walk this path. A pure power breakthrough might be more suitable for them. However, Muang himself was only at the level of a high-level half-god. His path was not particularly clear, so he could not give Broly and the others much guidance. As long as he could encourage them, he would work hard to train. Broly was a very obedient child, firmly remembering Muang's words. Ka! Milif pushed open the door and entered, reporting to Muang, Lord Muang, I have already covered the training chamber with a curtain as per your instructions. Muang nodded, got up, and walked towards the underground laboratory. After entering the laboratory, there were several independent rooms inside. Muang came to the training chamber where Lazuli was sleeping, waved his arms to transfer everything in the laboratory to Acceleration World, and then went to the room of Lapis, and also transferred him to Acceleration World. After that, Muang brought Broly, Milif, and the others into Acceleration World, and told Mukiu, Amelia, and Melissa about the matter of Lazuli and Lapis, and the few of them were busy arranging a new home for Lazuli and Lapis. Lazuli was moved to an independent villa by Melissa and the others. Lapis was moved to another villa next to them by Mukiu and the others. Acceleration World was vast and sparsely populated. It was more than enough for each person to build an imperial palace. After doing all this, the few of them began to train in Acceleration World. Although the Divine Aura contained in Acceleration World was not comparable to God of Destruction Planet, it could change the body constitution after long-term absorption. The fundamental division of strength was that Broly joined the circle with Melia and Melis, while Mukiu and Amelia could only practice with Milif. Time passed day by day, and soon a week passed. One day in the outside world, a group of green-skinned universe people suddenly appeared near the Capsule Corporation in the West City. Those who knew the inside story knew that they were from Planet Namek who was named Kian. It turned out that not long after Bardock and Sun Goku arrived at Planet Namek, King Hilch and his large forces also arrived at Planet Namek. The two sides immediately erupted into an intense battle. Bardock suppressed King Hilch in the battle. However, Sun Goku, Vegeta, Shasli, Piccolo, and the others were no match for King Hilch's subordinates. The first battle ended in a draw. After absorbing the first battle, King Hilch paid special attention to Bardock's whereabouts while searching for the Dragon Ball in Planet Namek. After a few battles, Sun Goku and the others' combat strength rose steadily. Finally, after their potential was developed by the Great Elder, the few of them were the first to reach 2 million power level. After that, large and small battles went on for many battles. Until the final battle to seize the Dragon Beat of Planet Namek, King Hilch was so anxious that he actually risked his life to injure Bardock. The battle was in a stalemate for a moment. Sun Goku broke through before the battle and transformed into a Super Scion. With the help of Virgil, and the others, the final battle was reversed. As the original protagonist of the Dragon Ball world, Sun Goku could transform into a Super Scion when fighting Frieza. It showed that he had the potential to do so. No matter what the key factor that prompted him to transform was, the result was obvious. The ending was basically the same as the original story. Planet Namek was on the verge of destruction in the battle. Piccolo and the others made a wish to transfer all Namekians to Earth. In the end, the battle of Planet Namek ended with the victory of Piccolo and Son Goku. Soon after, they returned to Earth on a spaceship. Goku actually turned into a Super Scion. Vegeta sighed, his eyes full of envy. Maybe it's because of Mr. Bardock's guidance. Shasli comforted Vegeta. Both of them were proud and arrogant superior warriors. In just a few days, they were beaten by others. There was indeed a psychological gap. Vegeta pulled himself together and clenched his fist. I will definitely become a Super Scion, and I will surpass them. And Half a year later, even the Great Elder who had consumed the Spring of Life could not resist the corrosion of time and finally died on Earth. The new Great Elder took over the position of Great Elder was a middle-aged Namike star named Mu Li. Under the supervision of Virgil and Nail, Muri took over the position of Great Elder and used the Dragon Ball of Planet Namek to find a brand new home for his clansmen. At this point, hundreds of Namekians all left Earth. Not long after the Namekians left Earth, Earth welcomed another person with a golden halo above his head. That person was specifically looking for Muang. Chapter 513 The person with the halo above his head was none other than Ulyamans, whom Muang had met at the other World Martial Arts Tournament. Back then, when Bojack and his group had approached Earth, he had come to help them with Pikin and the others. Kanalita had seen Ulyamans before, so she politely greeted him. 
Mr. Uyamans, why are you looking for your teacher? Uyamans frowned. Is Muyang not here now? Kanalita shook her head, teacher is not on earth right now. In reality, Kanalita knew about Acceleration World, but she could not contact Muyang. When will your teacher come back? It seemed like there was something urgent. I'm not sure. What can I do for you? I can pass it on for you. Uyamans thought for a moment and said, All right, I'll tell you first. When Weang comes back, please tell him. Half a year ago, Otherworld received the souls of two demons. One of them is called King Hilch, and the other is called the King Cold. King Hilch came from another galaxy, so King Yama handed it over to the other world. As for the King Cold, according to King Hilch's trial, he was naturally sentenced to hell. Uyamans took a deep breath. King Yama thought that King Cold had two sons who were tired in false heaven of hell, so he planned to imprison King Cold. But when he went there, he found that there was a big problem in false heaven. Frisia and Cooler, who were originally trapped there, have disappeared. Even the entire false heaven has disappeared. Frisia and the others have disappeared. Kanalita was shocked. Kanalita had heard Muyang talk about Frisia and Cooler. Both of them had been sent to the other world by her teacher. Even the project they were punished was her idea. How could these two disappear in the other world for no reason? Yes, it disappeared. If not for the imprisonment of King Cold, I'm afraid no one would have found it in a long time. Uyaman said with a solemn expression. The other world was a place with very strict rules. The soul of Frisia and Cooler had no physical bodies, so it was basically impossible to resist. Uyaman's, who had lived in the other world for many years, understood these things, so he knew the seriousness of the matter. Someone must have entered hell and taken away Frisia and Cooler without a sound. After that, the ghost messenger from the other world reported the matter to King Yama, and King Yama reported it to Grand Kai. After that, Grand Kai used the authority to scan the records of the false heaven, and finally got such a scene. As he spoke, Uyamans took out a recording device. The screen showed a world that was like a blooming cherry blossom. Frisia and Cooler were hung upside down under the cherry blossom tree. Suddenly, a bright red figure appeared and twisted the space. Then, he pointed the wooden staff at Frisia and Cooler and the two of them disappeared into thin air. Before disappearing, the figure seemed to have sensed something and glanced in a certain direction. It was a woman with long grey hair and blue-green skin. She was dressed in a red tight suit, and a skirt that looked like bat wings extended from her waist. It was this woman who took away Frisia and Cooler. The Grand Kai could not find her whereabouts, so he hoped that Muyang and the others could help her. Because of the battle with Majin Android 2 back then, Grand Kai knew that there was a higher level god behind Muyang. He said that he wanted to tell Muyang, but in fact, he hoped that Muyang could contact Wis. I will tell the teacher about this. Katarina knew the seriousness of the matter and promised seriously. Uyamans nodded. Due to the fact that the other world soul couldn't stay too much in World of the Living, he conveyed the message and returned to the underworld with Kanalita. Kanalita, who was holding the recording device, frowned. She felt that this was not a small matter. In the middle of Acceleration World, Muyang sat quietly in the void and comprehended a higher realm. There was no breeze around him, but Muyang's clothes and hair swayed without wind. The sparkling silver light attached to the surface of Muyang's body. Ah! The blue guy lay between Muyang's knees, feeling the aura coming from Muyang. Gaia comfortably changed her position, her soft body wrapping around Muyang's waist. Not far away, Broly, Melia and the others were still training. At this moment, a change occurred in April that was covered by the time acceleration domain. A ball of fire rose, and April's graceful figure walked out of the time domain. Behind her was a dark green creature with black spots all over its body. This green creature was Cell in the growth form. There were two insect shells on its head a black hard crystal between its eyebrows, and a long tail behind it. Is Cell completely under your control now? Muyang came to April's side and wrapped his arm around her waist. April nodded and smiled. I've made a new interpretation of his chip. He can't resist anymore. Melia looked at Cell with a look of disdain. He looks really ugly, and his energy is not high. The growth form Cell was not as strong as Android 6 in his peak state, and his power level was only 500 million. Among Acceleration World, even the weakest Mukiu and Amelia had reached the full power of Super Scion. They were at least at the level of perfect cell. April nodded. 
Cell needs to absorb Android 7 and Android 7 to achieve the complete form. Mukyu said, Mom, you won't let him absorb Lazuli and the others, will you? April rolled her eyes at him. What are you talking about? Why would I do that? I have studied Cell's cells. The reason why this guy needs Android 7 for his evolution is because there are too many high-quality genes in his body, so that the genes have to fight against each other. He needs Android 7 and a number of cells for neutralization. What he actually needs is black stones. We don't have any black stones on hand, Mukia whispered. Three pieces of black stones, one for April, one for Lazuli, and the other for Lapis, just enough. There are other parallel worlds. Of course, the premise is that there are Android and Android 2, Muyang said. Muyang did not have much expectations for the so-called perfect cell. At most, he would have one more fighter. Were experts like them people who lacked fighters? To be blunt, even if there was an enemy coming, it would not be enough for them to split up. Therefore, he could temporarily postpone the matter of Cell evolving. The next few people left Acceleration World with Cell. When he just returned to Earth, he received a message from Kanalita. When he learned that Hu Yamans had come to find him, Muyang was rather surprised. After watching the video that Hu Yamans had brought over, Muyang recognized the identity of the woman who had taken away Frieza and Cooler Tawa of the Dark Demon Realm. It was said that she was the younger sister of the King of the Demon Realm, Dabara. The people from the Dark Demon Realm took away Frieza and Cooler. Could it be that they want to train the Golden Frieza and Cooler? She not only took away one of the world's Frieza, or brought along other world's Frieza. Muyang thought to the worst part. If only his own world's Frieza was taken away, it would not be a big deal. If the other world's Frieza was also taken away, then something big would happen. Muyang suddenly raised his head. Perhaps he should go to another parallel world to take a look. Chapter 514 In a parallel world, the mountains and rivers in the distance rose and fell, stretching as far as the eye could see. The light of dawn quietly climbed up from the other side of the mountain. The light shone through the dense forest, and halfway through, it was refracted by the thick mist into a colorful, gorgeous color. Since it was raining early in the morning, the leaves were still stained with water droplets. The hunter was walking on the mountain road wearing rain shoes. With a bang, the gun aimed at the prey and let out a loud and clear roar. The entire mountain forest immediately became noisy. A group of birds flapped their wings and flew up. There was a mountain pass below the mountain forest. There was a row of simple huts that looked like three to five rooms. The owner of this row of huts was a strong man. He had been living here since two years ago. This man was very strange. He stared at the mountains all day and rarely saw him with any friends. Android 16, lend me your grocery room to place some mountain goods. They will be taken away at noon. You can keep it. The man named Android 16 smiled and said. The villagers politely expressed their gratitude to Android 16. The row of houses built here by Android 16 had really helped them a lot. Sometimes, when the sky changed, his houses became temporary shelters. Once a lot of mountain goods were drenched by the rain, their quality would be greatly reduced. Watching the villagers put down a few bags of numb mountain goods and then carry the sickle into the mountain, Android 16 showed a peaceful smile. Ever since they woke up from their slumber two years ago, Android 16 had traveled with Android 17 and Android 18 for a period of time. Along the way, they had encountered attacks from Sun Goku, Vegeta, and the others, but they had all been sent away by them. Later. Android 18 and the others found the Dragon Ball and made a wish to the Dragon God to remove the self-destructing device and stopping device in their bodies. After that, Android 16 bid farewell to Android 17 and Android 18 and went into seclusion in this small mountain village. Two years had passed in the blink of an eye, and it was unknown how Android 17 and Android 18 were doing now. Without the stopping device on them, even if Sun Goku and the others had the blueprints of artificial humans, they would not be able to stop Android 17 and the others. Android 16 sat quietly on the wooden stairs, his eyes looking at the mountains. He liked this kind of day that was close to nature. A few years ago, a young man called Trunks came from another world. He sent Sun Goku a special medicine to treat heart disease and reminded Sun Goku about the artificial human. Three years later, the artificial human appeared and was terrifyingly powerful. However, under the persuasion of Android 16, Android 17, and Android 18 in this world only defeated Vegeta and Son Goku and did not kill them. At that time, Trunks, who came from another world, 
was surprised and determined that Android in this world was different from what he knew. His temperament seemed to be much gentler. Later, in the process of investigating Dr. Jero's laboratory, Trunks and Krillin found the design drawings of Android together. At the same time, they destroyed a small embryo. After returning, a few people copied the drawings. After confirming the authenticity of the drawings, Trunks brought the design drawings back to his world. In the blink of an eye, a few years had passed and Trunks had never returned. And after Android 17 and Android 18 had used the Dragon Ball to eliminate the hidden dangers on their bodies, Son Goku had no choice but to live a lawless life with Android 16. Android 16 advocated peace and was influenced by him. Android 17 and Android 18 had not done anything evil in the past few years. If Muyang was here, he would know. This world was Universe 4 that had just been born a few years ago, the world that Trunks, who claimed to be from the future, had been to. In the original story, Trunks brought the medicine to treat heart disease to this world and handed it over to Son Goku. After returning to his own world, he defeated Android 17 and Android 18, but he was killed by Cell later on. Cell stole his time machine and ran to Muyang's world. As a result, the difference between this world and the original anime was that there was no more Cell game in this world. P.S. The original story has a bug in space-time setting in this area. It is supplemented here. Strictly speaking, after Trunks crossed over, he formed an animation world with Cell in the original work. The time of the two worlds after that was synchronized. Because the time machine was not a real legendary time machine, it was impossible for the future Cell to cross back to the early time in the animation world, it would only be later. There would be a bug here in the original story. The setting of the book was to add a world that Trunks arrived after crossing over. It was a world without Cell game but Son Goku had not died. Cell's transmigration should have formed a world with the Cell game, original anime, but because Muyang's transmigration principle had already formed a world, it merged with the world of the Cell game. Thus, according to the time of birth, four worlds were created. One the world that gave birth to Cell, the earliest world, without Muyang, Son Goku died, the android wreaked havoc, and Trunks crossed over in a time light machine. When Trunks returned, he was killed by Cell, and Cell crossed over in a time light machine. 2.1 World, the parallel world of Universe 12 was created in the early years because the time machine of Universe 12 was randomly used. Without Muyang, Son Goku died of a heart attack, the android wreaked havoc, and Trunks took the time light machine. 3 World of Muyang, splitting up because the protagonist wakes up. There is Muyang, and Cell from World 1 has crossed over. He has been dismembered and controlled by April. For World 1, the world that Trunks has been to after crossing over, it was created because of the transmigration of World 1. Without Muyang, Sogaku has obtained the healing medicine. Trunks has successfully obtained the blueprint and returned to his own world, then killed by Cell. There is no Cell game. Whoosh. An illusory figure flashed by. A youth wearing a black shirt and a scarf around his neck appeared beside Android 16. Yo Android 17 greeted Android 16. Android 16's hard face showed a smile. Android 17, why are you here alone? Where is Android 18? Android 17 stepped on a stone and said, Android 18 failed to play the game and lost her temper again. She planned to rob a bank to make up for her psychological trauma. By the way, she will be free for a while. That woman is particularly lazy, unlike me who has a proper job. As he spoke, Android 17 showed the armband in his arm. He was now a ranger who specialized in protecting wild animals. This job was simple and easy, and the salary was high. Android 16 laughed softly. Wasn't Android 18 such a person? Because she lost her parents since she was young, her life ability was very poor. If she didn't have strong power, she wouldn't even be able to raise herself. It's just that Son Goku and his gang are particularly annoying. They come to me every few days to make trouble. I really want to kill them directly. Android 17 had a good temper, but Sion really did hate him for coming to his door so patiently. Killing, not good. Android 16 shook his head blankly. Forget it, killing them is meaningless. Android 17 found a random place and sat down next to Android 16, those guys can't beat me at all. If it were for two years ago, there would still be hope. Now I know how to cultivate and my strength has been growing. No matter how they break through, they are no match for me. Android 16 looked at Android 17 seriously and nodded, the energy in your body has already surpassed mine. Ha ha ha, 
Right. Android 16, I came to find you this time because I intend to build a large island and specialize in cultivating rare wild animals. Are you interested in coming over to help me? Android 16 thought for a moment and agreed to his invitation. Sure. Android 17 laughed happily. At this moment, Android 16 suddenly raised his head and looked at the sky. His face became serious. What's wrong? Android 17 asked. There's a powerful energy reaction approaching us. Android 17 closed his eyes and sensed it. A bright light flashed in his eyes. It's so strong. It's rare on Earth to have this kind of energy strength. It doesn't look like Sun Goku and the others. It's here. As soon as Android 16 finished speaking, a slim and graceful girl appeared in front of Android 17 and Android 16. The girl looked at Android 17 curiously, and her fair cheeks bloomed with a smile. He really looks exactly the same. The person next to him seems to be a pure machine structure, but he also looks very powerful. Lapis. The girl called out softly. When Android 17 suddenly heard this name, his expression suddenly changed. He frowned and said, How do you know my name when I was an earthling? The girl smiled. Of course I know your name. Mom April asked me to invite you over. Come with me. Android 17 said coldly, No. Go. The girl spoke again, her tone very soft. Android 16 whispered into Android 17's ear, This girl's energy reaction is very high. I'm afraid we are not her match. Android 17 nodded in agreement, but he was unwilling to see anyone with her for no reason. My name is Amelia, and I came from alternate timeline. I know that your mother is called Cypriel, and my mother's sister. Suddenly hearing her mother's name, part of Android 17's sleeping memory awakened, and his pupils suddenly shrank, but he still did not believe what Amelia said. Humph, if you are unwilling to go with me, don't blame me for using force. Amelia narrowed her eyes, and her face suddenly sank. Android 17 and Android 16 frowned. Feeling the pressure coming from the other party, their spirits immediately became alert. Android 17 carefully sized up the other party, not knowing what the other party's girl would do next. Suddenly, Amelia's expression froze, and her entire body shone with a golden light. Silver lightning rose at the same time, and an overwhelming energy swept out. In an instant, Amelia's hair and eyebrows turned golden, and her beautiful eyes also revealed a cold, dark green luster. Super Scion Android 17 muttered to himself, but his Super Scion state was a little different. His whole body was wrapped in a layer of silver lightning. Be careful, the energy of the other party is several times stronger than ours. Android 16 detected Amelia's energy. I know. Android 17's face turned ugly. Although in recent years, Android 17 had broken through a lot because of his mastery of cultivation, the energy on her body was beyond his imagination. Even if she joined hands with Android 16, she would not have much chance of winning. What state are you in? Why haven't I seen it on Sun Goku and the others? This is called Super Scion 2. It is the second transformation on the foundation of Super Scion. I just broke through. Amy explained happily. However, before she could finish her words, Android 17 and Android 16 suddenly attacked her. For a time, all kinds of energy and flashes came out of nowhere. The sky trembled as if it were foregoing to explode. Amelia staggered and was actually engulfed by the rising energy. Amelia still had too little combat experience. Perhaps it was because facing Android 17 made her instinctively relax her vigilance. By the time she came back to her senses, Android 17 and Android 16 had already disappeared. Ayaya, that guy is too much. Amelia stomped her feet angrily. Suddenly, her eyes flashed and she caught up with Android 17 and the others. Chapter 515 Swish Amelia's golden figure blocked Android 17's path and said fiercely, Today, you must come with me. Then, regardless of whether Android 17 objected or not, Amelia directly used violent means to attack Android 17. Bang. 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 The battle between Amelia and Android 17 was extremely intense. Due to Android 17's current strength approaching the full power of Super Scion, even Android 16 could not interfere in the battle. After a series of attacks, Android 17's face became more and more gloomy. Every one of his attacks was dodged by the opponent, but the opponent's attacks landed solidly on his body. 
even an android with eternal energy would find it difficult to resist at this time. Bang! Android 17 was knocked out, and Amelia let out a series of bell-like laughter. I told you to come with me, but you insisted on me beating you up. Let's go. Wait a minute, I'll go with you. Android 16, who had been silent all this time, said in a daze when he saw that Amelia was taking Android 17 away. Amelia glanced at Android 16 and curled his lips. Up to you. The battle between Amelia and Android 17 was so powerful that it naturally attracted the attention of Sun Goku, Vegeta, and the others. What a powerful aura. Android 17 is fighting a certain expert. Who is it? Is there another expert we don't know on Earth? Mount Baozu, Sun Goku sensed the battle thousands of miles away with a solemn face. Soon Sun Goku sighed. Android 17 lost and was defeated by the strange aura. Chi Chi, I'm going out for a while. I won't be coming back for lunch. Chi Chi rushed out of the house angrily. Goku, you haven't finished your farm work yet. Don't think about slacking off all day long. Chi Chi, something big has happened outside. I'll be back soon. I promise I won't delay your work. Mom, I want to go too, Son Gohan said weakly. Chi Chi glared at him. Don't even think about it. Gohan, don't you want to become a scholar? If you don't study hard now, how are you going to get into university in the future? Don't learn from Goku and only know how to train every day. That way, you'll be useless. Sun Gohan lowered his head and replied. Then, he obediently went back to his books. Sun Gohan's ambition had never been that of a martial artist. When he was young, most of his martial arts training had been forced by the situation. However, after confirming that Andorid would not harm Earth two years ago, Sun Gohan had not properly trained himself. Now, his power level was only a few times stronger than when he had returned from planet Namek. His power level was not even one million. Learning to change fate was not an empty statement. West City Vegeta wiped his sweat and came out of the training room. He suddenly felt the battle on the other side of the world, and his face immediately darkened. Who is it? Why is there such a strong key on Earth? Vegeta had a gloomy face and clenched his fists. He had worked so hard to defeat Android 17 but now he was defeated by someone. The arrogant Scion Prince found it hard to accept. Without another word, he rushed straight into the sky. He had to find that person. On the winding road of Panchen Highway, on the road close to the city, Android 18 excitedly drove the money delivery car that she had robbed all the way through the bumpy road. She licked her red lips and kept moving the steering wheel. Her beautiful face was flushed with excitement. Suddenly, a beautiful woman appeared in the middle of the road. Android 18 stared at her and hurriedly stepped on the brake. The money delivery car tire slid for more than 10 meters and finally stopped in front of the girl. Hey, you are courting death. Android 18 leaned out of the window and shouted at the girl in front of him. Mukio held the head of the cash carrier with his palm. When he saw Android 18, his face showed a strange smile, yes, a beautiful little girl. She looks 18 or 19 years old. She is as cute as my lazuli. Android 18 was indeed beautiful. Her golden hair was hanging beside her ears, and her snow-white skin could be broken by the wind. Because of her cool dress, she was even more lovely. Lazuli, don't be so rude. Is this cash carrier that you just robbed? Why do you care? Eh, you are not a girl. Android 18 shouted at Mukiu, but then he was stunned. The beautiful girl in front of him was actually a boy. A pure grandpa who can be traded for a fake bag. How do you know my previous name? Android 18 had a cold expression, but his tone was not as bad as Android 17. Not only do I know your name, I also know that you have a younger twin brother. I know everything about you. Mukiu directly revealed his identity. When he knew that the person in front of him was from another world, Android 18 was completely stunned. Are you the same as that little brat called Trunks? Mukiu nodded with a smile. Trunks? Probably but we don't come from the same world. Android 18 had a strange expression. You also said that in another world, I am your girlfriend. Yes. Mukiu said seriously, we are not only boyfriend and girlfriend, but also childhood sweethearts. We grew up together. Your aunt is my little mother. Speaking of which, we are relatives. The two families have been together for a while. How could this be? How could she like a boy who looked like a girl? It was more like she was her sister. 
Android 18 opened her eyes wide and looked at Mukio. He suddenly realized that this boy called Mukio was really good looking. It was definitely very pleasing to the eyes to be with him. It was not unacceptable. Thinking of this, Android 18 suddenly woke up and thought to himself, how could I have such thoughts? Could it be that in my heart, I actually like girls? What are you looking for me for? My mom, your aunt wants to see you, so she came with me. Oh right, my sister has gone to invite your brother. Android 18 licked his lips. The commotion just now was caused by them, right? This doesn't seem like a way to invite people. Mukiu said, that's because Lapiz is a bit stubborn. Isn't he not as easy to talk to as you are? That's true. Android 17 has a bad and hard personality. If you want me to go with you, I can. But I need to buy a set of clothes first and dispose of these notes. I'll go with you. In a shopping mall, Android 18 stood in front of the mirror, constantly changing his clothes and posing in all kinds of tempting postures. Then he changed into another one that he didn't like. In the end, he changed into a white shirt with a black jacket on the outside. His lower body was a pair of black trousers. A golden chain was hanging down from the belt. He was dressed very beautifully. This outfit suits you very well. It looks very beautiful. Mukio was lying on the side. Even if it were for a ladies lingerie shop, he did not feel any discomfort when he came in. Are you really my boyfriend? Android 18 rolled her eyes at him. That goes without saying. Android 18 sneered. He held a bunch of fashionable clothes and said to the waiter, pack all these up. That person will pay the bill. Mukiu said, don't you have a card of banknotes? That's mine. Since the other me is your girlfriend, then help me pay the bill. Okay. Mukiu smiled. He immediately took out a capsule and took out a black box. The box was filled with cash, and the amount was extremely large. He had long known that Lazuli was a woman who liked money. She was ready to go out. You are quite rich. Android 18 glanced at the black box, his eyes shining. One third of the capsule corporation belongs to our family. Mukiu picked up a pearl necklace and gave it to Android 18. Android did not resist and let Mukiu put it on for her. She turned twice in front of the mirror and smiled. Let's go. I will go with you to see your family now. They will like you. What do you mean? Android 18 stared at her. At this time, she was quite envious of her own in another world. She had been accompanied by her parents since she was a child, and she seemed to have found a good boyfriend. Nothing. Chapter 516 On one of the islands in the southern hemisphere. From the looks of it, the one missing was only Frisia from his own world. There are now four entire universes in the entire space-time world. The current world is the last to form Multiverse 4. Multiverse 1 was called the Cell World, which was the earliest Aragunal world. The Cell in it had already been captured by April after riding on the time machine. Multiverse 2 was a parallel world of Multiverse 1. The cause was caused by scientists in Universe 12 using time stones. Multiverse 3 was the world that Muyang lived in, and Multiverse 4 was the world created by Trunks, who had been killed by Cell. However, the flow of time in this multiverse 4 seemed to be a little distorted. After Trunks returned to his own world for several years, only two years had passed here. April, why did you ask Mukiu and the others to bring Android 17 and Android 18 of this world over? Melissa raised one of her legs in a carefree manner while being served by Milif. April sat in a rocking chair with her back against her back. She was very quiet as she flipped through the books in her hand. When she heard Melissa's question, she said, I need a bit of their blood for an experiment. In addition, Lapis and Lazuli are about to wake up. Find Android 17 and Android 18. You can see what kind of reaction you will have if you use Planet Metamore's fusion technique. This is a good topic. When Melissa heard this, she became interested. She was formed by Melia and Melis using fusion techniques, but because of her physique, fusion and decomposition could be carried out according to her will. Muyang said, the situation of Lapis and the others is different from yours. Your souls are originally one person, but they are individuals from different worlds. There should be some differences in essence. But can you try it out? Muyang did not refute their words. In fact, he also wanted to see what the appearance of the android of different worlds would be like. Cell could absorb Android 17 and Android 18 of other worlds to evolve into a complete form, which meant that the difference between the two was actually very small. They are here. 
April closed the book and looked at the sky. The first to arrive was Amelia. She came back with Android 17 and followed by Android 16. After seeing April and the others, Android 16 nodded cautiously at them, his gaze sweeping across everyone present. Finally, he stopped on April. In her database, only April's information was relatively clear. This person looked like Dr. Jero's wife, but that person should have died long ago. Android 16 was a man-made person created based on the image of Dr. Jero's son, so his hair color and pupils were the same as April's. Not long after, Mukyu and Android 18 also came. Everyone's eyes fell on Android 18. Her dress was beautiful enough. It seemed to have been carefully selected. Android 18 also smiled faintly. His two blue eyes looked around. In front of Muyang and others, he was a little stiff. Android 18, you were also caught by them. Android 17 asked in a low voice. Android 18 glanced at him, a smile on her cold face. I was invited by him to be a guest. I'm not as embarrassed as you. Android 17 was speechless for a moment. He carefully sized up everyone. When he looked at them, he found that everyone present, except for a green-spotted cicada, was stronger than him. Especially the few people sitting in the middle, they seemed to be able to destroy him with a breath. Android 17 gasped at his judgment. Lazuli, Lapis, and Android 16, welcome. April's gentle voice was like a spring breeze. This woman looks similar to you, Android 17 said to Android 18. Android 18 brushed her hair and ignored Android 17. She said to April, are you really my aunt? April smiled. If your mother is called April, then in terms of blood, I am indeed your aunt. In addition, Bulma, who you have interacted with, is your distant sister. Android 18, what's going on? Android 17 was confused, but looking at Android 18, she seemed to know something. I'm not very sure either. Anyway, these people seem to be our relatives. Android 18 shook her head in distress and leaned toward Mukyu. From your looks, I can tell. Looking at Android 18 leaning towards Mukyu, Android 17 complained in her heart. Then she looked at them with a strange expression. Could it be that this sister of hers liked girls? Her whole body shivered. This was really too unimaginable. Lazuli, Lapis, I called you here today mainly to see you. You didn't bring disaster to the world like the cyborgs in other worlds, which makes me very pleased. As she said this, April nodded to Android 16. The temperament of Android 17 and the others was most likely affected by Android 16. What are we like in other worlds? After confirming that the other party had no ill intentions, Android 17 spoke more. Don't worry, let's sit down and have a good chat. Muyang smiled and invited them to sit. Then, he sensed a few auras approaching and instructed Milif and Cell, go and block Sun Goku and the others. Also, tell them that I will look for them when I have time in the future. If they resist, teach them a lesson. Yes, sir. Milif and Cell responded in unison. Sun Goku and Vegeta had never entered the hyperbolic time chamber in this world. Perhaps it was because of the lack of Cell's oppression that their strength had not progressed much. Now, they were still in the surpass stage of Super Scion. They were far from reaching full power. This level of strength was not enough to enter Muyang's eyes. On the other side, Milif and Cell went to stop Sun Goku and Vegeta, while Muyang and April and the others had a good conversation with Android 17 and Android 18. In the communication, Android 17 knew that the woman who had caught her was actually her girlfriend from another world. And the woman with Android 18 was actually the boyfriend of Android. 18 in another world. This relationship seemed a little complicated. Android 18, do you like women? Get lost. Android 18 angrily roared at Android 17. She was also panicked. In her heart, it seemed that she did not reject the words of Android 17. Although this was because Mukia was actually a boy, this was not a good omen. In addition, I need a bit of your blood for an experiment. After getting familiar with each other, April proposed her request to collect the blood herself. Android 17 and Android 18 did not object at this time. A. Auntie, can you let us see your mage in form later? According to Mukyu and the others, this aunt of theirs was an expert in Android. The self of the other world was transformed by her and Dr. Barrow together. It was hard to believe that Dr. Jero of the other world was actually a kind person. Of course you can. April smiled and immediately transformed into a magen. Her brown hair instantly turned pink, 
and her skin turned soft pink. At the same time, a suffocating and terrifying aura came crushing down on Android 17 and Android 18. Apart from Wiang and Melissa who were still smiling as they sipped their tea, Android 17 and Android 18 were already drenched in cold sweat. Their faces were filled with disbelief. It was really too powerful. P.U.C.I. Amelia smiled. This form of hers has the strength of Super Scion 3. It's hard to find a match in the entire universe. You definitely won't be able to withstand it. Super Scion 3 is the foundation of Super Scion 2. I haven't reached it yet. So that's how it is. Android 17 had seen how powerful Super Scion 2 was. It would be terrifying if he couldn't fight back and transform again. Just as Android 17 and Android 18 were stunned, Muyang suddenly sensed Acceleration World's change. He whispered to Melissa and then transferred her to Acceleration World. A few minutes later, Lemisa came out. There were two figures, one male and one female, who came out with her. They were Lazuli and Lapis. After many years of deep sleep, they finally woke up from the transformation state of the android. Because they had been immersed in nutrient fluids made from the spring of life and tree of might's fruit for a long time, their absorption of black stone energy was very complete. Their strength was not inferior to Android 17 and Android 18. Lazuli came to Mukia's side, her eyes staring at Android 18 beside him, and one hand pinched Mukia's arm hard. Who is this woman? Why does she look like me? She is you from another world, Mukia explained. I am Android 18. Android 18 raised her eyebrows and looked at the girl who was the same as her. My name is Lazuli, Mukia's girlfriend. Lazuli grabbed Mukia's arm and stared at him with her beautiful blue crystal face. Even if she was in another world, she was a huge threat. I know. Android 18 said lightly. Then he looked at Mukia and Lazuli and snorted with disdain. Lazuli was a little immature. Obviously, Android 18 didn't take her seriously. Chapter 517 Android 18's personality could be said to be quite cold. She had only known Mukia for half a day, so she naturally wouldn't have any excessive thoughts towards him. Therefore, when faced with the way that Lazuli was afraid that she would snatch the other party away, in Android 18's eyes, it was a little childish. With a sneer, Android 18 casually glanced at Mukia and Lazuli. The self of this parallel world didn't have any maturity and steadiness of his own. Unlike the slightly tense atmosphere on Android 18's side, Android 17 was much more harmonious. Android 17 crossed she arms over his chest and looked at Lapis seriously. She nodded at him. As expected of me. No matter which world you are in, you are so handsome. Your strength is similar to mine. Having completely absorbed the black stone energy, Lapis was no weaker than Android 17. If he went through cultivation in the future, he would become stronger. Who are you? Lapis was the same as Lazuli, not understanding the situation. According to what they said, I am another you. You should know the concept of a parallel world. I am the you of another world. Then, she hooked his arm around Lapis' shoulder and quietly pointed at Amelia. Is that woman really your girlfriend? She's too cruel. Listen to my advice. Don't find such a powerful girlfriend. If you can't beat her, you'll be bullied in the future. Lapis glanced at Amelia. Seeing the sweet smile on the other party's face, she smiled and shook her head. No, Amelia is very gentle. Gentle. Android 17's expression froze for a moment, and then he shuddered. You don't know how ruthless that woman was. Before, in order to bring him over, that woman directly knocked him out. However, seeing that Lapis was not willing to budge, Android 17 knew that his persuasion would not work, so he sighed. Forget it, since it had nothing to do with him anyway, it was better not to provoke trouble. Right, in the other world, is our mother still alive? Yes, she lives on a small island in the south with her father. Because the work unit is a research institute under the Capsule Corporation, she lives quite comfortably. Well, has the mother of this world passed away? She passed away many years ago. Later, we were found by Dr. Jero and were transformed into man-made people by him. While speaking, Android 17's face was full of regret, but when it came to Dr. Jero, a cold light flashed in his eyes. Although Dr. Jero transformed them into man-made people and gave them powerful strength, these were not voluntary. Dr. Jero's purpose of transforming them was to treat them as tools for revenge. Lapis was not very clear about the situation in this world. Later on, 
she found out that this world was completely different from the world she knew about. Earth was still weak. Although there was the World Martial Arts Tournament, it had been suspended for many years. It was to the point that the people who were active in front of the public were actually some experts of combat who made up the numbers. Moreover, in this world, Dr. Jero was actually an evil doctor full of ambition. The purpose of researching artificial humans was also to take revenge on Sun Goku. All sorts of differences made Lapis feel a wave of sadness. When Lapis learned that Android 17 and the others had wanted to kill everyone related to Sun Goku, he was shocked and broke out in cold sweat. He said, Fortunately, you didn't kill people randomly. In fact, the Bulma family is our relative. According to our relationship, we should call her sister. Is there such a thing? But we won't kill people now. Android 16 and I intend to build a big island to cultivate rare wild animals. This idea is very good. Lapis seemed to be interested as well. Right. Android 17 smiled, feeling that his idea was very meaningful. Just as Android 17 and Lapis were chatting happily, April whispered a few words to Muyang. Muyang nodded and waved his hand to transfer everyone to Acceleration World. After that, April would conduct her own research here, understanding the role of planet Metamore's fusion technique in parallel world individuals. First, he gave a general account of the Melissa fusion technique, and then Melia split into Melia and Melis to personally practice it in front of everyone. When they saw the perfect combination dance of the stars, whether it was Android 17, Android 18, Lapis, or Lazuli, they were all dumbfounded. Was such a shameful T.I. able to improve their combat effectiveness? It's your turn next. April let Android 17 and Android 18 begin to practice. Auntie, do you really want us to dance like this? Android 18 was embarrassed. It was too shameful to perform the planet Metamore's fusion technique. In front of everyone, she couldn't use it at all. Even Lapis, who was next to her, kept nodding. Her cheeks were red. You must try it. The fusion skill can greatly enhance your strength. April took the record and said seriously. All right. Can the others leave for a bit? Android 18 and Lazuli had no choice. After a few bystanders left, they could only awkwardly dance the shameful dance. However, because they had not grasped the key points in the beginning, the fusion had not been successful. This was very normal. Back then, when Melia contacted the fusion technique, he had tried many times. If one time was not enough, he would try a few more times. Thus, Melia and Melis patiently taught them on the side. Outside the world, Sun Goku, Vegeta, and the others continued to search for Melia de Aura as they advanced. The two of them had a cautious attitude towards the powerful aura that had suddenly appeared on Earth. Soon, several figures flew over from other directions. They were Piccolo, Krillin, Yamsha, and the others. Goku, are you also here to look for that powerful aura? Krylin stood at the edge of the mountain and overlooked the prosperous town below. Yes, that aura suddenly appeared and defeated Android 17. The other party must be a very powerful expert. Sun Goku had a grave expression on his face, but the blood in his body was boiling. But I have no clue at all. That aura has also disappeared from here. Could it be the same as Trunks? Yam Sha guessed. The aura that suddenly appeared on Earth, other than the universe, the rest came from other worlds. Speaking of which, I don't know if Trunks has dealt with the artificial human from his world. Krillin was concerned about the youth from another world, but he didn't know that although the familiar Trunks had successfully dealt with Android from their world, he had later died at the hands of Cell. Cooler, don't waste time on these guys. Quickly find them. Vegeta roared impatiently, his eyes revealing a threatening cold light. Krillin and Yamsha both frowned. They still didn't like Vegeta very much. Up until now. Krillin and the others still couldn't understand why Bulma was with Vegeta. Especially Yamsha, he had always been brooding over Yamsha who had stolen Bulma. If not for the fact that he couldn't beat the other party, Yamsha would have taught him a lesson. Because there was no story of the Cell game in this world, and there was always some estrangement between the Dragon Ball warriors who hadn't experienced life and death. At this moment, two figures suddenly blocked their way and stopped them from continuing forward. It was a woman with long hair and a green creature covered in black spots. They were Milif and Cell who had come to stop Sun Goku and the others under Muyang's orders. What a strong aura! Piccolo had a serious expression. Be careful, the aura on these two fellows is strange. Sun Go stared at the other party and then shouted loudly, 
telling everyone to pay attention to each other. Milith and Sel both had dark auras on their bodies. One look and one could tell that they were not kind people. In order to prevent them from hurting their companions, Sun Goku stepped forward and blocked the front. Pserdok looked at the tail behind Milith with her eyes wide open and said in astonishment, It's actually Scions. There are other surviving Scions in this universe. Milith looked at Sun Goku and the others expressionlessly. She said coldly, Sun Goku, Vegeta, you can go back now. My master has no time to see you now. There are people behind them. As Sun Goku and the others' faces sank when they heard this. They quickly realized that the person behind them should be the person who defeated Android 17. Humph, I can come and go as I please. Even if you are a scion, you are not qualified to order us. If you are sensible, call out the people behind you. Vegeta had a very hot personality. When he faced the cyborgs, he dared to rush forward directly. How could he be afraid of the two people in front of him? Not good. As soon as Vegeta said this, Sun Goku and the others knew that it was going to be bad. As expected, when Milith heard this, her originally cold face was immediately covered in frost. Stupid. Milith originally did not want to make a move, but the other party was shameless when he gave them face, so he had to teach them a lesson. Milith's aura condensed. In an instant, an earth-shattering aura came in succession. Her state directly changed to Super Saiyan 2 form. The terrifying energy shook the entire planet. Sun Goku and Oyakolo were stunned. They were all stunned by Milith's form. What kind of state is this? It seems to be a Super Saiyan as well. It's almost as strong as the aura that appeared before, but it's even colder. Vegeta is in big trouble again. Piccolo, Yamsha, and the others were stunned as they looked at the mighty Mif. They suddenly felt their scalps go numb. In terms of aura alone, they were several levels apart. Chapter 518 Bang! Milith instantly appeared in front of Vegeta. Vegeta's heart trembled, and he hurriedly turned into a Super Scion to deal with her. In a hurry, Vegeta's body directly withstood the attack of the other party. This woman, is actually so powerful. Vegeta spat out a mouthful of blood with a horrified expression. A chill suddenly arose from his back. At this time, Sun Goku took a deep breath and immediately turned into a Super Scion. However, Sun Goku's Super Scion was at most close to full power, and was far from being a match for Super Scion 2. After a battle, Sun Goku shook his arm, and his whole body was sent flying by the powerful force. So strong. The feeling of soreness came from his arm. Sun Goku grinned, and his heart was actually very excited. Humph. Milith looked at everyone with contempt. At this time, Cell walked over step by step. Suddenly, a vigorous momentum crushed over. Everyone present was enveloped by this momentum, as if the entire mountain was pressing down. Everyone felt a great pressure. Cell's aura was mixed with the evil aura of Frieza. It was even more evil than Milith. Cell's aura was not strong, but with Milith's aura, it was different. Dot. Vegeta was drenched in cold sweat. The pride that had despised the world was suddenly extinguished by a basin of cold water. If you move forward, don't blame us for being impolite. Go back quickly. By the way, my master will visit you one by one. Milith narrowed her eyes and warned them. After that, her figure flashed and she disappeared in front of everyone like a ghost. After Milith and Cell disappeared, Sun Goku and the others came back to their senses. They couldn't help but look at each other and then smiled bitterly. It seemed that they had asked for this lesson themselves, especially the last sentence of the other party. The more powerful people behind them would pay them a visit one by one. This was what they could do. Goku, we seem to have provoked a big trouble. Krillin had a long face and his voice was trembling as he spoke. Whatever. The other party has already come to Earth. It is only a matter of time before he finds us. Piccolo was much more open-minded. Son Goku took a deep breath. The main thing is that we are not strong enough. The other party, is even more terrifying than the android. At this point, everyone was speechless. The strength displayed by the other party was definitely above that of android. There was also that strange Super Saiyan transformation. It was obvious that it was stronger than Goku's transformation. Vegeta's face was gloomy at this time. He bit his lips hard and did not say a word. There must be a stronger transformation above Super Saiyan. Not to mention Son Goku and the others who had been beaten by Milith, in Acceleration World, 
under the 128 times time acceleration field that Muyang had set up, Android 18, Lazuli and the others threw away their shame and practiced the fusion skill of the Metamorans' fusion technique. After several failures, in a burst of white smoke, the fusion skill finally succeeded. In the white mist appeared a blonde girl dressed in Metamorans' clothes. Her appearance was exactly the same as the original Android 18, but her figure seemed to have become more tall and straight. When the newly formed girl spoke, she had two layers of sound, and her strength had also improved greatly. Well, her figure has become more graceful, but her appearance has not changed. April carefully recorded the girl who had fused with Android 18, and then took out a tape measure to constantly measure the girl's body, recording all her sizes. Haha, <laughs> after the integration of Lazuli, she became more feminine, and her body was more graceful. It was unknown when Mukio had arrived next to Lazuli. He then obtained data on the body of the girl from April. However, his frivolous words immediately welcomed the girl's attack. Bang! A blurry figure flashed by. Mukio was sent flying without even having the chance to transform into a super scion. April's eyes lit up as she quickly measured the girl's combat strength. The final result showed that the combined girl's power level had increased by eight times on the basis of Lazuli, directly reaching a state stronger than Majin Buu. After the Metamorans' fusion technique was used, the increase in strength was equivalent to an increase of eight times from the first level of Super Scion to the third level of Super Scion. In the original story, Sun Goku and Trunks were only at the first level of Super Scion at the beginning. After the fusion, they directly reached the Super Scion 3 that could fight against Majin Buu. On the surface, their power level had become eight times stronger, but in reality, this was not the only increase. The original fighting strength of Lazuli about 4 billion. After the fusion, it reached 32 billion. This effect is not bad. Next, we have to test the time limit of the fusion. After a series of tests, April received the first set of data. The fusion time was about an hour, and it was twice as long as the fusion skill. It was probably because the two of them were the same person from different worlds. Lazuli, you two combine again. I want to extract some of your blood. April research heart was particularly high. Android 18 and the others could only fuse again according to the instructions. Then April extracted a large tube of blood from the body of Android 17 and Android 18 respectively and began to study patiently. She wanted to study the secrets of S-cells and the black stone that gave people eternal energy from these two precious blood. She had a premonition that as long as she could thoroughly research S-cells and black stones, it would be of great use in the future. While April was in seclusion, Muyang and Melissa trained trained Fusion Android 17, Fusion Android 18, Broly, Mukio, Amelia and others. Although the few of them were at least at the level of Super Scion 2, when facing Muyang and Melissa, they still didn't have much ability to resist. It was worth mentioning that during the few days of training, Muyang suddenly have a thought, which made Fusion Android 17 and Fusion Android 18 contribute a little blood to Cell. He didn't expect Cell, who had swallowed Fusion Android 17 and Fusion Android 18 blood, to suddenly cross over the growth and maturation body and directly reach complete form. Perfect Shayla was quite handsome, and his face was very similar to Frisia, but compared to Frisia's coldness, it was a bit more evil. After Milif beat up the whole Cell several times, with the advantage of the Scion bloodline, Perfect Cell finally reached the lightning form, which was Super Scion 2. Android 17, Android 18, we will leave this world soon. Are you willing to go with us? While chatting, Muyang asked Android 17, Android 18, and Android 16. Android 17 and Android 16 looked at each other and politely refused, No, I still want to stay in my own world. Besides, Android 16 and I have found our life goal. Is it the island that you mentioned to nurture rare animals? Lazuli said. Android 17 nodded. Yes, I will find an island near my parents' hometown and focus on cultivating rare animals. Muyang did not praise or object to Android 17's ideal, but the future of this world was not peaceful. Not to mention the future Majin Buu and the God of Destruction Lord Beerus, even if a complete cell-level opponent came, they would not be able to resist the current Android 17. The future of Earth will not be peaceful. If you want to live in peace, you can't lose your training. To tell you the truth, Android 17, even if you reach the strength of Android 17 in the future, you won't have much strength to fight back when facing real enemies. Android 17's face turned serious. Is there such a thing? Muyang patted Android 17 on the shoulder. The strength of the enemies in the future will exceed your imagination. 
Android 17 grinned. Looks like I can't let my guard down. What about you, Android 18? Do you want to stay? Muyang turned to ask Android 18. I need to think about it. Android 18 said after thinking about it seriously for a while. Unlike Android 17 and Android 16, Android 18 did not find any life goals in this world. If she followed these relatives, at least she did not have to rob a bank when she was short of money in the future. What else do you want to consider? Lazuli almost jumped up. She was anxious in her heart. Was this woman really going to go with them? Android 18 rolled her eyes at Lazuli. She knew that she must have been mistaken. Even if she went back with them, it was not because of Mukiu. She did not like women. She had taken a fancy to the property of the 10,000 Capsule Corporation in Mukiu's house and wanted to be a rich worm. All right, don't worry, Lazuli, Android 18 won't fight with you for anything. Muyang smiled and asked Lazuli to sit down. Then, he thought for a moment before instructing Lightning Cell and Milif, the two of you have already given Sun Goku and the others some warnings. We have to leave later, so we don't have time to see them. Now, go and give them some pressure. This world was too weak. If Android 17 stayed behind, he was afraid that he would not be able to survive Majin Buu Crisis five years later. He might as well let Lightning Cell make up a cell game here. Chapter 519 After arranging the tasks for Milif and Cell, Muyang did not stay in Acceleration World. Instead, he left the current world directly after he went out. Android 17 and Android 18 were temporarily training in Acceleration World. Because of Muyang's warning, Android 17 had a little urgency for the future, so she trained very seriously. Under Acceleration World's 128 times flow of time, Android 17's strength continued to grow stronger. Soon, it reached the strength of a complete cell, and then continued to increase. And Android 18, who was ready to leave this world, was much more salted fish. It seemed that she really had the tendency to become a rice worm. She cultivated half-heartedly, and in the end, he was taught a lesson by Lazuli who caught up to her. Only then did she change her attitude. In the West City, Sun Goku came to Bulma's home and asked her to create an even stronger gravity chamber. Bulma, please help me build a gravity room that is the same model as Vegeta. Sun Goku pressed his palms together and requested Bulma. Bulma held onto trunks and looked at him in confusion. Why are you suddenly going to the gravity chamber? If Chi Chi finds out that you aren't going to work and secretly train, she will definitely lose her temper. Sun Goku smiled bitterly, I want to increase my strength. There are experts even more powerful than Android on Earth. Vegeta and I are no match for them. I'm afraid that it will be dangerous if I don't increase my strength. Bulma cried out, no wonder Vegeta hid in the gravity chamber and train without saying a word after returning. So she was defeated. Those people wouldn't really threaten the safety of Earth, right? Sun Goku shook his head. I don't know. The other party's aura isn't very good. He doesn't seem like a good person. Bulma's face turned pale. Wait, I'll prepare the gravity chamber for you right away. Goku, you have to defeat him. I will try my best. Sun Goku patted his chest hard. Oh right, Bulma, do you have a way to let Gohan train with me? Chi Chi taught him very strictly and never allowed Gohan to train. His talent is very good. If he doesn't work hard now, he will waste his talent. I'll help you talk about it. Don't have too much hope. Bulma agreed. She was very accurate when it came to big and big matters. In times of crisis, the most important thing was to increase his strength. Sometimes, he really couldn't understand what Chi Chi was thinking. If Earth was gone, what was the use of studying? But Chi Chi didn't seem to agree with this. Three days later, the gravity chamber was completed. This gravity chamber was jointly created by Bulma and Dr. Brief. The highest it could reach was 300 times gravity. Sun Goku happily took the gravity chamber, but before he could be happy for long, Bulma came out with a small satellite TV. He pointed at the TV screen with a panicked expression. Goku, come and take a look. Something big has happened. What's wrong? Sun Goku was shocked. He hurried to the front of the TV. A handsome but evil figure appeared on the screen. Beside him stood a black-haired woman. Sun Goku recognized that the woman was the person who had defeated him and Vegeta. It's her. Who is the person beside him? On the television, 
the person named Cell announced that they would hold a Cell game in a month and accept challenges from the world. All the powerhouses on Earth could participate. If the challenge failed and they could not defeat him and Milif, they would destroy the entire Earth. In the camera, Cell also performed a demonstration. In front of everyone, a huge desert was directly wiped from the Earth. Later, media went in to observe. The area within a hundred kilometers was destroyed. The pure energy of high intensity directly melted all matter, leaving only the molten lava. Oh no, the Earth is in a big crisis. Son Goku's face sank. Bulma, hurry up and find Vegeta. I know a good place to train. This time, he must go with me. Oh, okay. Bulma panicked. Seeing that Bulma was looking for Vegeta in a panic, Son Goku felt the powerful aura on the other side of the earth with a solemn face. It was too strong, and he had no confidence to defeat them now. Fortunately, the other side gave them a month's time, so they had to work hard to train next. At this moment, Son Goku suddenly had the sense of urgency to desperately train when he first went to planet Namek. In another parallel world. After leaving Melia and the others behind in Axirulation world, Muyang used Axirulation world's shuttle function to enter this place alone. The scenery was full of ruins, and only ruins were left in the bustling city. The roads and walls were covered with weeds and moss. The earth of this world no longer has the aura of a strong person. After entering this world, Muyang first went to hell to see Frisia who was hanging peacefully on the cherry blossom tree. After confirming that he was still there, he came to earth. This parallel world was actually the first world that was born in Cell, which was controlled by April, which was also the first world. More than a year ago, Cell ambushed and killed Trunks, who was ready to return to the fourth world to report good news to Son Goku and the others, and then snatched the Time Light Machine. Due to the departure of Cell and the death of the android, the Earth had actually settled down. However, due to the cruel devastation of the past decades, the number of survivors on the Earth had decreased to only a few million. This was a fatal blow to a civilization. As a result, the Earth civilization had declined several steps. Some remote areas had even lost traces of civilization. Sun Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin, and even Trunks had all died. The decline of civilization and the lack of the suppression of powerhouses had caused the entire planet to be filled with chaos. What a sad world! Smoke filled the surroundings, as if they had just experienced a battle. Let's go to the temple to take a look first. Muyang flew up into the sky. In the blink of an eye, he flew far away. He passed through several cities, but every city was in chaos. The appearance of the artificial human and the death of the hero had caused the civilization of this world to be lost. When they arrived at sacred land of Korin, the lookout in the sky had been destroyed. Even the half of the tower stood alone in the sky. The lookout and the tower are destroyed. With a slight sigh, Muyang believed that there was no longer any hope for this world. Perhaps, only by finding planet Namek Dragon Ball, would he be able to save all of this. Eh, there are still two weak auras on Earth. It's Master Rashi and Korin. They are not dead yet. Let's find them first. After a few flashes, Muyang disappeared again in the void. Came House. After the explosion of the man-made incident, Came House had been the base for the remaining martial artists on Earth for the past few decades. However, as time went on, the number of warriors in the base decreased. Even if Master Rashi and Korin trained hard, they would not be able to nurture outstanding warriors like Krillin and Yamsha. Fortunately, Trunks found the blueprints for the android from other worlds. With these blueprints, they found the weakness of the android and finally eliminated the android to save the entire world. However, Master Rashi and the others did not feel happy at this time because Trunks had been missing for more than a year and the time light machine that had changed his fate had also disappeared together. No matter how Master Rashi and Korin searched the entire Earth, they could not find any traces of Trunks and the Time Light Machine. Could it be that the Time Machine had malfunctioned and disappeared with Trunks? This conclusion was hard for Bulma to accept and severely impacted his body. Until a few days ago, the Time Machine had reappeared, but the one sitting inside was not Trunks, but a young woman. Are you from Bulma 27 years ago? Master Rashi looked at the young Bulma in astonishment. Yes, is this a parallel world? I casually adjusted the Time Light Machine. I didn't expect to come here. Bulma looked at the people around him with a dumbfounded expression. After repeatedly confirming it, he found that he had actually come to a parallel world 27 years later. Chapter 519 
After arranging the tasks for Milith and Cell, Muyang did not stay in Acceleration World. Instead, he left the current world directly after he went out. Android 17 and Android 18 were temporarily training in Acceleration World. Because of Muyang's warning, Android 17 had a little urgency for the future, so she trained very seriously. Under Acceleration World's 128 times flow of time, Android 17's strength continued to grow stronger. Soon, it reached the strength of a complete cell, and then continued to increase. And Android 18, who was ready to leave this world, was much more salted fish. It seemed that she really had the tendency to become a rice worm. She cultivated half-heartedly, and in the end, he was taught a lesson by Lazuli who caught up to her. Only then did she change her attitude. In the West City, Sun Gaku came to Bulma's home and asked her to create an even stronger gravity chamber. Bulma, please help me build a gravity room that is the same model as Vegeta. Sun Gaku pressed his palms together and requested Bulma. Bulma held onto trunks and looked at him in confusion. Why are you suddenly going to the gravity chamber? If Chi Chi finds out that you aren't going to work and secretly train, she will definitely lose her temper. Sun Gaku smiled bitterly, I want to increase my strength. There are experts even more powerful than Android on Earth. Vegeta and I are no match for them. I'm afraid that it will be dangerous if I don't increase my strength. Bulma cried out, no wonder Vegeta hid in the gravity chamber and train without saying a word after returning. So she was defeated. Those people wouldn't really threaten the safety of Earth, right? Sun Goku shook his head. I don't know. The other party's aura isn't very good. He doesn't seem like a good person. Bulma's face turned pale. Wait, I'll prepare the gravity chamber for you right away. Gaku, you have to defeat him. I will try my best. Sun Gaku patted his chest hard. Oh right, Bulma, do you have a way to let Gohan train with me? Chi Chi taught him very strictly and never allowed Gohan to train. His talent is very good. If he doesn't work hard now, he will waste his talent. I'll help you talk about it. Don't have too much hope. Bulma agreed. She was very accurate when it came to big and big matters. In times of crisis, the most important thing was to increase his strength. Sometimes, he really couldn't understand what Chi Chi was thinking. If Earth was gone, what was the use of studying? But Chi Chi didn't seem to agree with this. Three days later, the gravity chamber was completed. This gravity chamber was jointly created by Bulma and Dr. Brief. The highest it could reach was 300 times gravity. Sun Gaku happily took the gravity chamber, but before he could be happy for long, Bulma came out with a small satellite TV. He pointed at the TV screen with a panicked expression. Gaku, come and take a look. Something big has happened. What's wrong? Sun Gaku was shocked. He hurried to the front of the TV. A handsome but evil figure appeared on the screen. Beside him stood a black-haired woman. Sun Gaku recognized that the woman was the person who had defeated him and Vegeta. It's her. Who is the person beside him? On the television, the person named Cell announced that they would hold a Cell game in a month and accept challenges from the world. All the powerhouses on Earth could participate. If the challenge failed and they could not defeat him and Milif, they would destroy the entire Earth. In the camera, Cell also performed a demonstration. In front of everyone, a huge desert was directly wiped from the Earth. Later, media went in to observe. The area within a hundred kilometers was destroyed. The pure energy of high intensity directly melted all matter, leaving only the molten lava. Oh no, the Earth is in a big crisis. Sun Goku's face sank. Bulma, hurry up and find Vegeta. I know a good place to train. This time, he must go with me. Oh, okay. Bulma panicked. Seeing that Bulma was looking for Vegeta in a panic, Sun Gaku felt the powerful aura on the other side of the earth with a solemn face. It was too strong, and he had no confidence to defeat them now. Fortunately, the other side gave them a month's time, so they had to work hard to train next. At this moment, Sun Gaku suddenly had the sense of urgency to desperately train when he first went to planet Namek. In another parallel world. After leaving Melia and the others behind in Axirulation World, Muyang used Axirulation World's shuttle function to enter this place alone. The scenery was full of ruins, and only ruins were left in the bustling city. The roads and walls were covered with weeds and moss. The earth of this world no longer has the aura of a strong person. After entering this world, 
Muyang first went to hell to see Frisia who was hanging peacefully on the cherry blossom tree. After confirming that he was still there, he came to Earth. This parallel world was actually the first world that was born in Cell, which was controlled by April, which was also the first world. More than a year ago, Cell ambushed and killed Trunks, who was ready to return to the fourth world to report good news to Sun Goku and the others, and then snatched the time light machine. Due to the departure of Cell and the death of the android, the Earth had actually settled down. However, due to the cruel devastation of the past decades, the number of survivors on the Earth had decreased to only a few million. This was a fatal blow to a civilization. As a result, the Earth civilization had declined several steps. Some remote areas had even lost traces of civilization. Sun Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin, and even Trunks had all died. The decline of civilization and the lack of the suppression of powerhouses had caused the entire planet to be filled with chaos. What a sad world! Smoke filled the surroundings, as if they had just experienced a battle. Let's go to the temple to take a look first. Muyang flew up into the sky. In the blink of an eye, he flew far away. He passed through several cities, but every city was in chaos. The appearance of the artificial human and the death of the hero had caused the civilization of this world to be lost. When they arrived at sacred land of Korin, the lookout in the sky had been destroyed. Even the half of the tower stood alone in the sky. The lookout and the tower are destroyed. With a slight sigh, Muyang believed that there was no longer any hope for this world. Perhaps, only by finding planet Namek Dragon Ball, would he be able to save all of this. Eh, there are still two weak auras on Earth. It's Master Rashi and Korin. They are not dead yet. Let's find them first. After a few flashes, Muyang disappeared again in the void. Came House After the explosion of the man-made incident, Came House had been the base for the remaining martial artists on Earth for the past few decades. However, as time went on, the number of warriors in the base decreased. Even if Master Rashi and Korin trained hard, they would not be able to nurture outstanding warriors like Krillin and Yamsha. Fortunately, Trunks found the blueprints for the android from other worlds. With these blueprints, they found the weakness of the android and finally eliminated the android to save the entire world. However, Master Rashi and the others did not feel happy at this time because Trunks had been missing for more than a year and the time light machine that had changed his fate had also disappeared together. No matter how Master Rashi and Korin searched the entire Earth, they could not find any traces of Trunks and the time light machine. Could it be that the time machine had malfunctioned and disappeared with Trunks? This conclusion was hard for Bulma to accept and severely impacted his body. Until a few days ago, the time machine had reappeared, but the one sitting inside was not Trunks, but a young woman. Are you from Bulma 27 years ago? Master Rashi looked at the young Bulma in astonishment. Yes, is this a parallel world? I casually adjusted the time light machine. I didn't expect to come here. Bulma looked at the people around him with a dumbfounded expression. After repeatedly confirming it, he found that he had actually come to a parallel world 27 years later. Chapter 520 Why did you come here on Trunk's plane of time? The not-so-good Bulma, parallel world Bulma, anxiously asked Bulma about the situation. Bulma looked at his other self and was silent for a while. Then, she told him what she knew. When she learned that Trunks had been killed by a monster named Cell, Bulma revealed a sad expression and fainted from the shock. When Master Rashi and Korin saw this, they hurriedly asked Oolong to take care of Bulma. It turned out that Trunks had already sacrificed himself. Master Rashi was filled with grief and indignation as his hand that was holding the wooden staff trembled slightly. You can go find the Dragon Ball. The Dragon Ball can revive everyone. Korin said dejectedly, it's useless. After Kami and Piccolo disappeared, the Dragon Pearl of Earth was gone. What about the Dragon Ball of Planet Namek? We don't know the location of the new Planet Namek. Several roads were blocked. Bulma couldn't help but become silent. This parallel world was really tragic. Without the new Kami, they couldn't even contact the King Yama and North Kai. Say, if I bring the Dragon Ball of my world over, can I use it here? Bulma's leisurely words caused the eyes of Master Rashi and the others to light up. That's right. Even if they can't obtain the Dragon Ball of this world, they can still go to the parallel world to find it. The Dragon Ball of Bulma's world hasn't disappeared yet. If they really can't bring the old god over, they can definitely revive everyone on Earth. Thinking of this, Master Rashi and the others suddenly became excited. At this time, Buma had already woken up. 
With the support of Oolong, he walked over and said excitedly, Of course, everyone still has hope of resurrection. When Trunks had killed Android and prepared to go back to report, he might have had the idea of looking for the Dragon Pearl. Then, Bulma frowned. It's just that the time machine can only travel back and forth to the parallel world once every time the energy is added. Now, the energy of the time machine has been exhausted, and it will take three years to mix the energy. That long. Three years is the least. Bulma was dumbfounded. She couldn't afford to wait three years. She couldn't help but feel annoyed in her heart. Back then, he shouldn't have casually pressed the button on the time machine. With a flash, a perfect figure appeared near the Kame house. Muyang looked at everyone on the island in surprise and said, Bulma, why are you in this world? When Bulma heard this, he saw the identity of the person and immediately revealed a happy smile, Uncle Muyang. Master Rashi, Korin, and Bulma saw that Bulma knew the person in front of them and secretly lowered their guard. Bulma asked, Who is he? Why do you call him uncle? Uncle Muyang is the god of martial arts in my world. He saved the earth several times, and even Cell was easily captured by Uncle Muyang. Bulma smiled and introduced Muyang to everyone in a grand manner. When they knew that he was one of the top experts in the other world, Master Rashi and Korin were surprised. They carefully sized up Muyang but did not find any trace of martial arts on him. His behavior was very similar to that of an ordinary person. His face immediately turned cold. This was true return to simplicity. Expert. The difference between the two sides was too great. Korin and the others couldn't see through Muyang's aura at all. Burma, didn't I tell you to be careful when studying the time machine? If I hadn't happened to come here, you really would have stayed in this world for three years. Uncle Muyang, I intend to borrow the Dragon Ball from us. Bulma lowered her head in shame. Muyang looked at everyone and shook his head. There's no need to go through so much trouble. I'll bring you guys directly to find planet Namek in this world. Really? Korin and the others were stunned for a moment and could not help but be overjoyed. Of course. Since he was already here, why would he need to return to the original world to search for the Dragon Ball? Muyang immediately brought the Korin along to search for planet Namek of this world. Because he was not clear about the position of planet Namek, Muyang even specially made a trip to the North Kai's planet. When North Kai saw the arrival of such a high-level god like Muyang, he immediately told him the location of planet Namek. This also allowed Muyang to understand the wonders of the high-level god Dimensional. When Namekians on planet Namek heard that something had happened on Earth, the new great elder, Muri, readily took out the Dragon Ball. The people on Earth only waited for ten minutes before a miraculous scene happened. First, all the broken cities and ruins on Earth had returned to their original appearance decades ago. Then, all the bodies of the people who died because of artificial people had recovered. After a few seconds, everyone was resurrected. Because the Dragon Ball of the new planet Namek had been readjusted after the new Great Elder was appointed, many people could be resurrected at once. With three wishes, the countless souls in the other world, whether in hell or in heaven, as long as they died because of artificial people and did not reincarnate, all came back to life. Ah, what is going on? The gods have appeared. The resurrected people had the memories of the other world, so they were clear about what had happened. And those who had been struggling on Earth for decades suddenly saw the Earth change and returned to before the disaster. All of them were dumbfounded. In the heavenly realm lookout, the old Kami looked at the lower realm with a cane, and the corners of his mouth revealed a smile. In various battlefields where he had fought against the androids that year, Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin, Tian Xinyan, and the others were resurrected one by one. We actually revived. Only Wukong is still in heaven. The Dragon Ball warriors woke up one by one. Only Sun Goku, who had died of a heart attack, did not revive. In a street alley in the capital of the West City, Trunks, who was carrying a sword on his back, got up from the ground. I've been revived again. Great, the Earth has finally regained peace. Mr. Muyang, Bulma, thank you. Master Rashi and the others cried bitterly. Having experienced dozens of years of disaster, they knew even more about the value of peace. Muyang nodded with a smile, but he was not proud of himself. Just as Trunks and the others were rejoicing over the passing of the disaster, in a distant space, a diamond-shaped star floated in the vast divine realm. A silver-haired sissy held a scepter with one hand on his back. He slowly walked over the stone slabs floating in the air. If Muyang were here, he would find that the person in the dark red robe was Universe Seven's Angel Wiss. 
Wis walked along the hovering ancient tree branches and came to the deepest part of the lookout. Lord Beerus, the bomb alarm you set has been activated for several years. If I don't wake up soon, I will have to use other methods. There was a rustling sound. The God of Destruction, Lord Beerus, got up from the nest in his pajamas. He lazily closed his eyes and walked down the stairs. Then he stepped on air and fell directly. In the dining room, Lord Beerus ate the snacks prepared by Wiss. After eating and drinking his fill, he picked his teeth with a toothpick and asked, Wiss, why did you wake me up? Lord Beerus, you slept more than twelve years than the scheduled time, so you have accumulated a lot of work. Lord Beerus picked up the toothpick. Which planets are going to be destroyed this time? Wiss looked up the magic staff crystal ball and said, there are a total of 39 planets that need to be destroyed. First of all, starting from a planet called Earth. That planet created a terrible monster over 20 years ago because of human stupidity. There are less than 10 lives left on it. A planet like that will be destroyed directly. The God of Destruction, Beerus, said nonchalantly. Eh, the people on Earth have actually revived. They seem to have used the Dragon Ball of planet Namek. Humph. This is something that goes against the rules of the universe. The Dragon Ball can only be used by the Namekians. The humans on Earth should not be resurrected, so let's start with Earth. The God of Destruction, Beerus, had a cold expression on his face. There was no emotion in his golden eyes. To him, destroying a planet was just a trivial matter. Then let's go to Earth. It will take about 40 minutes. Wiss smiled and bowed. I say, Wiss you can improve your space teleportation. It will take so long to cover such a short distance. Lord Beerus, just a little. Wiss smiled. The divine staff tapped twice in the air, and the seven-colored light drowned the two people. Then, it quickly moved toward Earth. Chapter 521 In the seven-colored teleportation channel, Wiss looked ahead indifferently. Suddenly, he turned around and said to Lord Beerus, By the way, Lord Beerus, there is a very interesting person on the earth we are going to. You have been bored for so long, maybe you can find some fun there. The god of destruction, Beerus, followed behind Wiss with his legs crossed. His golden eyes were full of cold light. What do you mean? Didn't Lord Beerus always want to find someone who can fight? Right now, there just happens to be one on earth. Lord Beerus' eyelids twitched. You mean, there are people on earth who can fight me? Are you joking? Earth is just a low-level planet, right? I didn't lie to you. There is indeed an expert there. His level is extremely close to the eighth-level dimension. Wiss handed the crystal ball to Lord Beerus. With a flash of light, the scene on Earth appeared in the crystal ball. It's this black-haired Earthling. He looks a little like Sion. Could it be that? Super Sion God? He can fight me. Lord Beerus frowned as he recalled a dream he had had when he slept. Wiss shook his head. This person is a pure earthling, but he is very strong. Hearing this, Lord Beerus stared at Wiss. You seem to want me to fight with him. Are you planning something? Wiss covered his mouth and laughed. Lord Beerus, you worry too much. I only value that person and want him to become a preparatory god. Lord Beerus' face turned cold and he shouted, Wiss, you are going too far again. It is still too early to choose a preparatory god. After calming down, Lord Beerus said with killing intent, I want to see what's so great about that person. If it doesn't work, I'll destroy him together with that earth. Up to you. Wiss shrugged indifferently, his expression still carrying a slight smile. Lord Beerus had been bored for too long. Coincidentally, someone interested him appeared in the lower realm. It was better to let him have a good time. Moreover, this was also a test for the other party. In fact, this trip to Earth seemed to be the idea of the God of Destruction, Beerus, but in fact, it was Wiss' deliberate inducement. Of course, the reason why Wiss did this was also because he was entrusted by someone. The person who entrusted him was the legendary Lord Grino. A while ago, the other party actually took the initiative to contact him, hoping that he would assist in the test of a person. After Wiss observed, it was only then that he realized that there was an unusual guy in the universe he was in charge of. To be able to attract the attention of the legendary Supreme Kai of Time, there must be something about him. Anyway, Lord Beerus had not worked for many years. This time, he had to complete it all at once. With this in mind, Wiss agreed to Krono's request and had the current trip to Earth. 
As for whether Lord Beerus would destroy Earth at that time, Wis did not care. The God of Destruction always acted as he pleased. When he was interested, destroying a few space zones was also a child's play. As the servant and teacher of the God of Destruction, Wis would not criticize him. In their eyes, good and evil were no longer as clear as ordinary people. In other words, their thinking had transcended too much. If they died, they would die. It would be good to reincarnate again. Because they stood at a high enough level, their vision was wider than ordinary gods. At Wis level, they naturally felt that everything was like dust. The value of living things and dead things were the same. As long as they maintained the rules of the universe, there was nothing that could not be killed. But in the perspective of ordinary people, the behavior of destroying the god and Wis, who were willing to do whatever they wanted, was really a headache. Wis, speed up a little more. Lord Beerus yawned and placed one hand on Wis' shoulder. Okay. The scepter in his hand knocked against the ground. Rays of light quickly retreated from both sides of his body. Wis put away the scepter and waited quietly for a moment. About ten minutes later, the two crossed countless galaxies and arrived at the range of the northern galaxy. On Earth. Because the world had been reborn again, even the dead warriors had been revived. The emotions that had been suppressed for decades had finally been released at this time. Master Rashi and Bulma set up a grand banquet in the courtyard of the West City to celebrate. On this day, Sun Goku, Trunks, Vegeta, and other warriors gathered together to celebrate. It's a pity that Goku is still in the heavenly realm. Otherwise, all of us would be here. Krillin held his wine glass and felt a little emotional. Because he was often with Sun Goku before he was resurrected, he was not sad. Vegeta snorted coldly. Don't mention him. Kakarot is in heaven. Vegeta is still brooding over not being able to defeat Sun Goku. Yam Sha smiled as he walked over. Although Vegeta was unable to enter heaven during the time of his death, he still fought with Sun Goku when he held a martial arts meeting in the other world. However, he was defeated by Sun Goku. As the banquet entered, several people laughed and chatted. The focus of discussion gradually shifted to Muyang and Bulma in another world. It's all thanks to Mr. Muyang this time. If not for him, Earth wouldn't have been able to recover at all. Yet, yeah, but the strange thing is that we actually haven't heard of his existence in our world. Maybe it's a different place in parallel space. Of course, they were also very concerned about the situation of the other Bulma. In another world, Bulma actually married Sun Goku with Chi Chi. After all, they are childhood sweethearts. Since Chi Kai Ai's daughter is actually called Sun Hong Yi, then there is no Gohan to comprehend. Everyone's gazes swept over to Bulma. They imagined how he looked like when Bulma was with Sun Goku, they couldn't help but nod inwardly. This was what made sense. It was just that these bachelors were full of envy for Sun Goku to be able to marry two people. At this time, Trunks walked over with a wine cup. When he heard that Muyang had just come from another parallel world, he curiously came over to inquire about the news, Mr. Muyang, you have just been to the world where man-made people exist. I wonder how Mr. Sun Goku and Gohan are doing there. Muyang smiled, I have not personally seen Sun Goku and the others, but the man-made people there have changed from evil to good and have not caused killing there. Trunks nodded, when I left, I found that they were different from the android here. However, in the following period of time, Sun Goku and the others from that world had had a hard time. The Cell game that Cell and Milif had organized together was not easy to challenge. Looking at Trunks who seemed to be bearing a heavy burden, Muyang smiled slightly and sipped his wine. Suddenly, Muyang frowned slightly. A violent fluctuation was transmitted from the space, and at the same time, an illusory pressure came from the other side of the space. He was very familiar with this feeling. He frowned and looked at the sky. Suddenly, he saw a red and a purple figure appear in his field of vision. At, eh, it's Wis and the God of Destruction Beerus. Why did they come to Earth? Muyang was slightly surprised and recognized the identity of the two people. Did something happen? At, eh, who are those two people? Seeing that Muyang raised his head to look at the sky with a very surprised expression, Trunks felt strange and looked up as well. He suddenly discovered two unfamiliar figures appearing in the sky. When did these two appear? Trunks didn't sense any aura from the two of them, but since they were able to float in the sky, it was impossible for them to be weak. Wiss, is that person? In the sky, the god of destruction, Beerus, had his hands behind his back. His blue trousers moved without the wind and his entire body emitted a dignified aura. Yes, Lord Beerus. 
Wis stood behind Beerus with a faint smile on his face. Yes. Lord Beerus nodded. His body slowly descended from the sky. Then, he walked straight to a position a few steps away from Muyang. His thin face moved closer to Muyang and sniffed. There is indeed a different energy. The dimensional level is quite high. It seems that this time it is going to be fun. Who are these two people? With this question in mind, Sun Goku, Krillin, and the others looked at each other. Vegeta frowned and pondered. I think I have seen this person somewhere before. Hey, who are you? Can't you see that we are holding a banquet? If you are here to join in the fun, please stay away. Yamsha, drunk, walked over to Lord Beerus. Lord Beerus was stunned. He stretched out a finger and sent Yamsha flying. It has been a long time since someone dared to speak to me like this. You earthlings violated the rules and resurrected from the other world. Are you ready to die again? Lord Beerus, and Wis, you are not here to make trouble, are you? Muyang was stunned, and then a smile appeared. Lord Beerus looked at Muyang curiously. You actually know the identity of this god? Of course. Destruction god Lord Beerus, Angel Wis, I have known you all for a long time in another world. Today, when he faced destruction god Lord Beerus again, Muyang was already able to treat him as an equal. This was the confidence brought by the strength. Oh, so you came from a parallel world, traveling through worlds for no reason. This is another great sin. Sorry, this is one of my own abilities. Humph. Lord Beerus' face was cold, and his golden eyes shot out a cold chill. The people present were intimidated by the pressure emitted by Beerus. They could not help but shiver. At this time Vegeta suddenly raised his head. After seeing the appearance of the God of Destruction, Beerus, his face immediately became pale. Wait, God of Destruction, Beerus. Is he, the person who appeared before the destruction of planet Vegeta? Vegeta was flustered. He only remembered the identity of the other person when he heard Muyang call him the God of Destruction. When he was young, he was fortunate enough to see the elegant demeanor of the God of Destruction. Thus, the power of the God of Destruction penetrated deep into his heart. Although he was still not very clear about the strength of the God of Destruction, it should be more than enough to kill them. Chapter 522 Lord Beerus, didn't you want to find an opponent? This person in front of you is enough to be your opponent. Wis smiled and fanned the flames from the side. Muyang turned to look at Wis, only to see that he had a faint smile on his face. In his memory, Wis had always been so black-bellied. Kid, show me your strength. Otherwise, I will kill all of you right now. As he spoke, a light flashed on his finger, and a small purple energy ball appeared. Around the purple energy ball, there were several circles of sparkling and translucent light revolving around the energy ball. This was the ultimate move of the God of Destruction Destruction Energy Ball. A small energy ball was enough to completely shatter the earth. All right. Muyang nodded very readily. He did not refuse. He also wanted to know how much distance he had between himself and the God of Destruction. Seeing the other party agree so readily, Lord Beerus had a trace of admiration in his heart. He looked at Muyang with a somewhat pleasing gaze. Thus, the two of them confronted each other. Their bodies slowly rose into the air. The majestic aura pressed against each other, and the surrounding temperature immediately dropped by dozens of degrees. Muyang calmly examined Lord Beerus. Then, he called out softly. The silver energy in his body began to circulate wildly, and his body was instantly wrapped in a layer of faint silver gray. His black hair and eyes flashed with silver light, and his entire person looked different. Your state seems a little familiar. Lord Beerus held his chin and his expression became serious. Lord Beerus, that's the Ultra Instinct. Wis stood below and reminded. Lord Beerus was shocked. Ultra Instinct, isn't that a concept that even the God of Destruction cannot completely grasp? That's right, so Lord Beerus can't be careless. If you loses the competition, then you will lose face. Ultra Instinct was the basic foundation of the Angel level. Although it was the foundation, the degree of its profoundness was not something that an ordinary god of destruction could master. Seeing that Muyang could actually master Ultra Instinct, Wis had a whole new level of respect for him. As expected of the person Lord Grino warned. Noisy. Lord Beerus roared in an unfriendly tone, and then shouted seriously to Muyang, Kid, it seems that you are not an ordinary person. If you can fight me to a draw. I can generously forgive your planet. Lord Beerus, 
come at me. Muyang looked warily at Lord Beerus, the god of destruction. There was a long lost hot blood burning in his chest. Suddenly, the two of them moved at the same time. Their movements were so fast that they seemed to exceed the speed of light. Bang! The two fists collided. There was a real collision. Except for the place where the two fists collided, there was no earth-shattering, dazzling light. There was no gorgeous and eye-catching special effects. There was only a simple and straightforward collision. Lord Beerus, the god of destruction, was an ancient god that had existed for countless years. His realm had already reached an incomparably deep level. Every move and move had a mysterious charm. In comparison, Muyang was a bit inferior. However, he was still an expert who had reached the peak of level 7 dimension after all. In addition, he had fused the concept of unfettered instinct and extreme instinct fused into the concept of ultra instinct. In terms of power level, they were on par with the god of destruction Lord Beerus in the beginning. In the distance, Sun Gohan and Piccolo looked at the sky with solemn expressions, but Trunks and the others could only watch from afar and were stunned by the aura that had condensed into a solid state. What an intense battle! I can't see it clearly at all. What's even more incredible is... I actually can't sense even a little bit of aura. That's right. He clearly released such a powerful energy. How could he not have any aura? Krillin and the others were puzzled. It was impossible for the energy released to not have any aura. This is a battle between gods. Mortals naturally cannot sense it. Wiss smiled as he looked at everyone. The realm of gods was profound and profound, and the aura that mortals emitted had long been restrained to the extreme by them. This person is so strong. The few of them looked at the silver-haired figure beside them who had always been harmless and had a faint smile on his face. They were secretly shocked in their hearts. The other party was clearly right in front of them, but standing there like a ball of air, there was no sense of existence at all. Hey, who exactly are you? Why do you want to fight Uncle Muyang? Bulma put down her wine glass angrily. What kind of words did this celebration banquet have to be in such a state? Wiss was not angry. He clicked on the crystal ball and the image of Muyang and Lord Beerus fighting appeared in the void. My name is Wiss. The Lord who is fighting is the God of Destruction, Lord Beerus. He is the highest god in the universe, responsible for the destruction of all planets. The god of destruction, Lord Beerus, the highest god of the universe. Piccolo frowned as he thought about the other party's identity. Yes, in a sense, Lord Lord Beerus' identity is even nobler than Supreme Kai's. Wiss said, you earthlings used the Dragon Ball to resurrect. This is against the rules of the universe. Lord Beerus appeared to destroy you. However, if that little brother called Muyang can satisfy Lord Beerus, Earth might have a chance to be exempted. He is even nobler than Supreme Kai. But who is Supreme Kai? Could there be a higher level god above the Grand Kai? The other party seems to be at a very high level. The highest god that Piccolo, Krillin and the others had seen in the heavenly state was the Grand Kai, so they knew very little about the universe level gods. Wiss ignored the stunned Piccolo and the others. Instead, he pointed at the Divine Staff and got in touch with someone outside the distant space-time. Lord Grino, the battle here has already begun. The crystal ball flashed for a moment before a tender voice was heard, I have already seen it. I will have to trouble you with this matter, Wiss. Wiss smiled, not at all. It is my honor to be able to serve Lord Grino. The voice of the god called Grino sounded, you are welcome. This is a challenge arranged for him. However, he should not be a match for Lord Beerus in the end. At the critical moment, you have to stop him. I will come from the nest of time now. Lord Grino is coming personally. Yes, after all, I have to announce something. I await your arrival, sir. Wiss nodded with a faint smile. Then, he cut off the call with Grino and looked at the sky with his pale purple eyes. Later, Supreme Kai would come to visit him. He had to prepare together. With this in mind, Wiss waved his divine staff and set up a layer of energy shield around the West City to prevent the aftermath of the battle between Muyang and Lord Beerus from destroying the surroundings. In the sky, a series of fierce fights kept playing out. After the initial probing, both sides began to reveal their true strength. Lord Beerus grinned with excitement. Purple energy was constantly thrown out in his hand. Shu, purple energy brushed past the ground. Suddenly, a large area of land directly disappeared. Looking at it, a hemispherical collapse with a radius of 10 kilometers appeared in the originally flat place. Tisk, 
you actually avoided this god's energy of destruction. Lord Beerus shook his head with some regret. That was close. Lord Beerus, have a look at my attack too, Muyang said with a serious expression. Muyang stretched out his palm and grabbed his wrist with his other hand. He pointed his flat hand at Lord Beerus, who was the god of destruction, and tried to manipulate Axirolation World's rules in his heart. Kill. Suddenly, a strange rule descended from the sky. Lord Beerus stretched out his long neck and looked at the other with a puzzled expression. A hint of danger suddenly appeared in his heart. Not good. Lord Beerus looked at it in a daze. His golden pupils suddenly shrank a little. He quickly turned around and threw out a large energy of destruction with both hands. The dark purple energy of destruction with starlight revolving around it collided with Muyang's obliteration. The two energies entangled in the void and suddenly expanded into a ball with a diameter of dozens of kilometers. With a pop, the entire space shattered and all matter disappeared into the dust. Lord Beerus wiped off his cold sweat and felt a little scared. That move, why does it look so similar to Lord Zeno's erase? He can't be related to Lord Zeno, right? If so, Lord Beerus felt like retreating. He didn't dare to continue fighting with the other party. If he provoked Lord Zeno, it would be very bad. Wiss also looked at it in surprise. His expression was not so calm. As expected of the person chosen by Lord Grino, he is unexpectedly full of mystery. The battle continued for a while. Muyang was already gasping for breath. He did not have much energy left. Meanwhile, the god of destruction, Lord Beerus, was ready to stop. He timely called for a pause. That's enough. Your strength has been recognized by this god. I can guarantee that you won't destroy this planet. Lord Beerus looked at Muyang with his skinny face. Your move just now was very interesting. Do you know Lord Zeno? Did he regard obliteration as a race of Lord Zeno? Looking at Lord Beerus' cautious expression, Muyang found it funny. No, I don't know Zeno. Is that so? When Lord Beerus heard that Muyang did not know Zeno, his face became cold again. Lord Beerus, he does not know Zeno, but he is under my protection now. A tender voice sounded, similar to Zeno's voice in Lord Beerus' mind but it was even more pleasant. Chapter 523 Grino This immature voice. There was a buzz in Billis's mind, and he felt a chill on his back, but he quickly reacted, it's not the voice of Lord Zeno. When Beerus was dazed, Weiss' body floated up, and slightly bent down in one direction, Seventh Universe Angel, congratulations on the arrival of Lord Grino. Okay. A nice voice sounded again, and Mu Yang looked to the side with a look of surprise, and saw a cluster of colorful lights shining more than 300 meters from the ground, and a little girl with orange hair was carrying a huge golden scroll. Up here. The little girl looked like she was about seven or eight years old, with a purple gown draped indiscriminately, revealing pink skin on her shoulders, and golden earrings hanging from her ears. Wes just referred to her as Kuro Noya Lord. Is she the king of the time realm that Bit and Note talked about before in charge of multiple time and space? Mu Yang guessed the identity of the little girl in front of him, when the other party suddenly smiled at him, and Mu Yang quickly withdrew his gaze. This time Supreme Kai Krino chuckled and landed in front of the God of Destruction Billis, looking at Billis with an immature face, and said solemnly, The God of Destruction Billis, did you just want to use your destructive power? The infinite pressure rolled over, and Beruz moved his throat, his pupil shrank, and he felt a great pressure. What kind of God is this little girl? It actually gave me a feeling of facing the whole king. Beerus sweated profusely and said quickly, The god has absolutely no such thoughts. Hee <laughs> hee, Lord Billis may be afraid. Weiss came to Billis with a smile on his face and said jokingly. Billis glared at Wes angrily, and asked in a low voice, Wes, who is this person? He seems to be amazing. Weiss glanced at him and explained, This is Lord Crino, the king of the time world who is in charge of multiple time and space and is responsible for maintaining the stability of multiple time and space. It turns out that it's just the Realm King God. When will there be such a Realm King God in the universe, why would I not know? When Beerus heard that the opponent was just a Supreme Kai, he straightened his chest. Regardless of the fact that the Supreme Kai and Destruction God have always been equal level gods, as far as status is concerned, his Destruction God is a little bit higher. Weiss warned, Master Billis, don't neglect Master Kurino. The dignity of this adult is not inferior to Master King. What do you say? Beerus was taken aback. Master Zeno King is the supreme god in charge of the universe, 
and supreme in the entire universe. Although this Lord Krino is only the Realm King God in name, he is a god in charge of multiple time and space. He has profound knowledge in time and space. If Lord Billis offends Lord Krino, she can wipe out Lord Billis when she was weak on the timeline by moving her fingers. This is a real obliteration, and will not produce a parallel world. When it comes to this, Weiss's tone is very harsh. Destroyer Billis looked puzzled, no way. If Lord Billis doesn't believe it, you can try it, but please allow me to find your successor first. Weiss, don't talk nonsense. Suddenly there was a shiver, and Billis looked at the immature appearance of the King of Time, and his mind somehow overlapped with the image of the King. They all look like children, and they all hold the supreme power. It's better for such gods to be less offended. Hehe, <laughs> Mr. Weiss, don't scare Burus. I won't be as moody as your king. The role of the destroyer is very heavy. If you kill a destroyer at will, it will increase my workload. With a faint smile, Master Krino's tone was very flat. In other words, she does have the ability to obliterate the god of destruction on the timeline. Biruza's face suddenly became difficult to look like, this little child is definitely not inferior to the king. Muyang, I have been observing you for a long time. When Bit and Note reported to me, I realized that there was a person like you in multiple time and space. I specifically searched all time and space and found that there was only number three. The Muyang in the entire universe is a special existence. Lord Krino, the king of the time world, looked at Muyang and said in a flat tone. Muyang's face shrank, as if his identity was seen through by the king god of the time realm before him. When he was about to say something, he heard the other party wave his hand towards him, and a gentle energy sank into his body. Ruth's nearly exhausted energy from the battle recovered all at once. This is the energy drawn from the timeline and will not cause harm to your body. Kuronoya continued, Don't worry, as long as you don't mess up time and space, I won't worry about your affairs. I just thought you were interesting, but since you made a wish to the Super Dragon and got the ability to communicate with the world, I, I will focus on observing you, so Mr. Wei specially arranged this test. Mu Yang looked at Wei suspiciously, and saw him smiling and nodding. At this time, he suddenly understood that it turned out that Vis and Biru suddenly came to the earth, and they were actually commissioned by the god of the realm of time, Krino. Biru's evil stared at Weiss at this time, Weiss, what the heck is going on? Dare to feel that she was accidentally used as a tool of command. Weiss shrugged, the expression on his face remained unchanged, Master Billis, this is Master Kurino's order, I can't refuse. Then you can tell me in advance, Barris looked upset thinking that if he had done too much just now, maybe he would be unable to protect himself now. Master Kurino, what's your purpose in letting Weiss arrange the test? Mu Yangjiang stared at Kurino with a piercing look, and when he saw that the other party had not pursued his identity, he asked further. Kurino said, your accelerated world has great potential, and your future growth is limitless. Now you have the ability to travel through multiple spaces, so I want to ask if you would like to join my time-space patrol. Become a patrolman like Bit and not. Mu Yang looked surprised and asked in surprise. Yes, you have reached the standard of becoming a time-space patrol. I can give you the ability to travel through multiple time and space. This is also a promotion for your accelerated world. And I think you need a shelter. After all, not all gods care about the world in their jurisdiction like Xeno King. There are more advanced gods outside of the universe, unless you never leave the universe, sooner or later you will meet them. The Red King and the Sky King are not as easy to talk as Xeno King. How about it, do you want to be a member of the Space Time Patrol? Red King and Sky King, these are very unfamiliar titles, Mu Yang suddenly discovered that this Dragon Ball world still hides many secrets. After thinking about it carefully for a moment, I found that being a time-space patrol was profitable and harmless, so he raised his head and said to the god of the realm of time, Kuronia, thanks to Krono. I am willing to join the time-space patrol. Krino's immature face burst into a smile, hee hee, you will definitely not regret it. After finishing speaking, Krino, the god of the realm of time, struggling to untie the huge golden scroll behind his back, and then holding the scroll solemnly, slowly opening it, and suddenly a golden light shone from outside the universe. Come down. This time Supreme Kai Kuronoya looked solemn, but her young body began to change in the eyes of everyone. I saw that slender body grew crazily as if it had been exposed to hormones, slowly changing from the lowly state to the girl estate, the orange hair began to grow, and soon reached the waist. Wow, 
the robe on the body began to change the blue shirt and trousers turned into gold, and the outside of the Time Supreme Kai's clothes became pure and flawless white, and the edge of the robe was inlaid with gold the stripes look holy and elegant. The King of Time changed his appearance. Mu Yang was taken aback. Is this the same as the previous Time Realm King God, completely changed its appearance? White robes, golden brilliance, golden eyes full of majesty, the time and space around him constantly shattered and reorganized between his actions. Wes immediately bent down to the girl respectfully, I have seen the King of Time. Isn't it the King of Time? Mu Yang looked at Kuronia, who had changed her appearance, but also unconsciously stood with Weiss. At this time, the God of Destruction, Beruz, was already sweating profusely. This feeling, yes, only the Great Priest and the whole King can have it. This is the highest God, and the Supreme Perfection should not appear in the mortal dust. Chapter 524 Supreme Kai of Time's clear eyes fell on Wuyang and the others. She opened the golden scroll and suddenly, a vast and pure divine power washed over time and space, and a pleasant voice sounded. Earthling Wuyang, in the 68th year of training, his life level has reached the peak of the level 7 dimension, and he has the qualifications to enter the Enter Time Patrol. Now I declare a resolution, Divine Calendar 36 Season 129610081 Days 64 Points, formally agree Wuyang join Time Patrol, while giving Time Shuttle availability, responsible for Time Axis incidents, maintaining Time Axis stability. I hope you can cooperate with Patu, Nother, and others. After the announcement, a golden energy penetrated through the space-time barrier of billions of miles and entered Muyang's body. This was the ability given to him by Supreme Kai of Time to travel through the axis of time. The moment he accepted this energy, Muyang felt his spirit and soul suddenly tremble. It was as if he had fallen into a boundless sea of time and space. The ability to travel through time and space merged with the ability to communicate with space. At this moment, acceleration world in his body began to roll as if he was going to break away from it and reach a higher dimension. If Muyang had not decisively stabilized the martial arts star in the center, he did not know what kind of waves this wave of energy would cause. The golden power of time wandered around his body. Muyang narrowed his eyes, and a refreshing, surging, and happy feeling surged into his heart. At this moment, he seemed to see himself in the past. From the first time he crossed over, he trained hard on Great Azure Mountain, to the first time he participated in the World Martial Arts Tournament, and then he fought with Frieza. All sorts of things from the past flashed through his mind. With a vague traction, a supreme will suddenly descended. It was as if he was looking down from high above. The self on the time axis quickly turned into bubbles and disappeared. Then, it was replaced by illusory images. Muyang knew that this was the power of time. When he became a member of the space-time patrol, the supreme power of Supreme Kai of Time began to suppress from high up, directly merging himself with the present and completely breaking free from the time axis. This was the benefit of every time patrol, allowing them to completely break free from the shackles of time. After completely merging the past with his body, Muyang opened his eyes. A silver white light flashed through his eyes. This feeling was extremely good. He felt that he was just a foot away from the eighth level dimension. He only needed to spend some time to break the limits of his body to reach it. The eighth level dimension is right in front of me. The corners of Muyang's mouth curled into a smile. This guy, the feeling he gives people has completely changed. The god of destruction Beerus opened his eyes wide. From Muyang, he felt a faint pressure. This was extremely inconceivable. Just like how I became a god of destruction back then, a single imperial order completed the transformation of life. It seems like what was said was right. This Supreme Kai at this time is not inferior to the king at all. While Beerus was deeply afraid, the body of Supreme Kai of Time quickly dispersed and soon returned to the form of Supreme Kai of Time, Krino. She circled around Muyang a few times and said with satisfaction, It's okay. Then wear this ring. We will work together in the future. No problem, Lord Krino. He took a golden ring with a smile on his face and put it on. It looked similar to Supreme Kai of Time Ring, but it also had the ability to communicate and detect time and space. Speaking of which, he seemed to have taken advantage of this time when he became a member of the Time Patrol. However, what was the matter with Supreme Kai at this time? There were two forms. At that time, the King form was full of majesty. It was basically two different people from the current Supreme Kai. As if seeing through Muyang's doubts, was said from the side, that was Lord Krino's true form just now. 
Her status is not any worse than Lord Zeno, and the current Supreme Kai, Krino, is just a clone of Supreme Kai of Time, managing the nest of time in the entire multiverse. So there was such a division of labor. It seemed that Supreme Kai of Time then was extraordinary, and there might be other clones managing other areas, such as the world that she mentioned about the Red King and Sky King. It seemed that he had a golden thigh, and with her protection, it was much more convenient to do things. Supreme Kai patted Muyang's shoulder like an old man. You have to work hard and reach level 8 dimension as soon as possible. When the time comes, I can make you the captain of the entire universe team. Thank you for your kindness, Lord Grino. You don't have to be so polite. Lord Grino curled her lips. Haha. <laughs> Muyang looked rather relaxed. Supreme Kai of Time seemed to have no temper, and they got along quite well. After that, he taught Muyang how to use the time and space ring. Krino gave Muyang a uniform of the time and space patrol and then disappeared into thin air. It was a uniform similar to that of Patu and Nother. It was a red windbreaker. Muyang studied the uniform in his hand and directly received it to Acceleration World. Mr. Muyang, congratulations. Wis congratulated him politely. Muyang laughed and said, Wis, you don't have to be so polite. I have a good relationship with you from the other world. So that's how it is. Wiss, you bastard. You actually didn't tell me anything about this matter at all. I won't forgive you when I go back. Lord Beerus was furious. This housekeeper of his had tricked him too much. Sooner or later, he would be played to death by him. He glanced at Muyang again. Lord Beerus didn't dare to offend him. Didn't he hear that the other party already possessed the ability to travel through time? If he offended the other party, he would suffer when he returned to the past. Although he was the god of destruction appointed by the king, the other side also had the protection of the supreme god, and looking at the situation, the other side's superior was obviously more reliable than the king. They were both high-level gods, but why did he not have the good life of the other side? For your sake this time, I will spare this planet. Next time, I will not be polite. Leaving behind a harsh sentence, Lord Beerus shouted at Wiss. Let's go, hurry up and destroy the next planet. Yes, Lord Beerus. Wiss nodded at Muyang. Then, he picked up his divine staff and pointed. A seven-colored light soared into the sky and left the earth with Lord Beerus. After Wiss and Lord Beerus left, Muyang looked at the surface of the earth and found that it had been imprisoned at some point in time. After asking, he found that the people on the earth knew nothing about the arrival of Supreme Kai. Muyang's face immediately turned cold. He said to himself, Krino is really extraordinary. Uncle Muyang, what happened just now? Where is that purple guy? Bulma asked about the whereabouts of the God of Destruction. The God of Destruction, Beerus, has left Earth to go to the next target. That God of Destruction, won't make a comeback, will he? Krillin said worriedly. Muyang shook his head. The God of Destruction, Lord Beerus, is a trustworthy God. He said that he would let him go so naturally he would let him go. You don't have to worry. Great, I was scared to death just now. I didn't expect there to be such a terrifying god in the world. Because of the interruption of the god of destruction Beerus, the celebration banquet naturally couldn't continue. After hastily ending, Muyang sent Bulma back to his original time and space, and the time machine naturally returned to its original owner and returned to Trunk's hands. However, before leaving, Bulma seemed to have obtained a full set of time machine information from Bulma. With her intelligence, she could replicate one in a few years. Muyang only paid attention to this and didn't say much. Bulma knew how to act appropriately. Whether the time machine should be made or not, she believed that she was also clear in her heart. After sending Bulma back to the original time and space, Muyang teleported into Acceleration World again. After obtaining the time ability bestowed by Supreme Kai of Time, Muyang needed a period of time to settle down. Moreover, he knew that the day to break the seventh layer limit was near. Chapter 525 After sending Bulma back to the original world, when Muyang returned to Acceleration World, he saw that Melia and Melis were still training on Android 17 and 18 because of Acceleration World's acceleration of time, they had actually cultivated for a long time, and their strength had grown at a visible rate. Muyang did not disturb their training. His figure flashed, and he casually found a quiet place on the planet Wudeo to train. After setting up a layer of time acceleration domain around him, Muyang's mind gradually immersed into the comprehension of the ability of time. 
This time, he accepted the invitation of Krino join the Time Patrol, allowing him to gain the ability to control time. More importantly, because Krino directly protected him on the axis of time, he had suddenly fused with himself on the axis of time, eliminating the hidden dangers that the space-time split could cause to him. His heart gradually sank, and a vague feeling rose. Muyang felt as if his body was no longer his own. Suddenly, he heard the crisp sound of bells ringing in his ears. The silvery white drop of liquid in his body rotated wildly. At the same time, the golden energy that represented the power of time also began to spread out, soaking every cell bit by bit. A transparent cyclone blew around him, and waves of air swept by. From time to time, they gradually spread out like waves. As time passed, when Wiang opened his eyes again, he felt completely different. In his body, the silvery white drop of space energy obtained from the Super Shenron's wish was merging with the time energy granted by Krino. The combination of time and space gradually formed the power of time and space. At the moment when the two mysterious forces combined, Wiang felt clear in his heart. He felt that he should be able to break the limit of the seventh layer limit of his body. However, Muyang was not in a hurry right now. He needed to continue accumulating in the seventh level dimension for a period of time. He teleported to the side of Melia and the others. Melia, who was training Mukyu and the others, saw Muyang walking over. He leaned over and whispered, Look at Lazuli and the others. Under my training, their strength is rising rapidly. Very good. They are almost as strong as Super Scion too. Muyang looked at them with a smile. The android had outstanding potential to begin with. Android 17 and Android 18 in this world had almost the same strength as the complete cell before they had received training. Now that they had been trained by Melia and the others and Acceleration World had increased the flow rate of 128 times, their strength had naturally increased significantly. He turned his gaze to Mukyu and Amelia. The two children worked very hard, but looking at the Super Scion state they were in, it seemed that they were going to develop into Super Scion 3. Muyang frowned. Interrupting their training, don't blindly increase the strength of your transformation. Super Scion transformation is a combat mode evolved from the ancient era of Scion. It makes up for the shortcomings of the ordinary power level of Scion, which is a smart transformation. Super Scion full power and Super Scion 2 are a sublimation of the Super Scion transformation, but this mode is ultimately a trick. If you continue to play this trick up there, it will seem to be too much and gradually enter the wrong area. The lightning on Super Scion 2 is a phenomenon caused by the loss of the body's strength. If you continue to follow this pattern, it will be disproportionate Ito the price. When Mukyu and Amelia heard this, they both stopped cultivating and listened carefully to Muyang's words. In fact, as their strength increased, they could already faintly feel the difficulty of transforming again above Super Scion 2. The violent strength of Super Scion could still be suppressed at the second stage. Once it rose to the third stage, the difficulty of controlling it would increase sharply, and it would be very easy to injure the body. Father, how should we train next? Muyang thought for a moment and said, First, try to control the power of Super Scion 2 and find a way to reach the full power of Super Scion 2. But even if you can't reach it, it doesn't matter. It is just a kind of training. Because at this level of strength, the most important thing is to comprehend the realm. Although Muyang himself was not a Scion, his realm was high and his vision was different. He had already seen the limitations of Super Scion's transformation. Although Super Scion 3 transformation had the hope of increasing the strength, there were many weaknesses. The huge consumption of the body meant that it was not a successful transformation model. At this time, it should change the way of thinking and increase the strength from other angles. In the original story, Son Goku's mysterious mode, as well as the improvement method for Super Scion 2, could bring out the power that was not inferior to Super Scion 3. This meant that Super Scion 2 and above could not only take Super Scion 3. Mukyu and Amelia were very lucky because their father, Muyang, was an expert in the realm, allowing them to walk fewer paths. Realm, hey. I understand. Mukyu and Amelia nodded in unison. Broly walked over, Father, should I also go and comprehend the realm? Muyang looked at Broly. At this time, Broly was tall and sturdy. He had golden hair, and his state had clearly reached the same level as Melissa's. The growth of Broly was also full of surprise. His strength was probably not inferior to Son Goku in the original story. However, when he thought that Broly, who was in the golden pupil state in the original story, could rival Son Goku, 
the Super Scion God, Muyang felt that it was natural. No need, you are different from the ordinary Scion like Melissa. Just continue to follow the current road. Muyang shook his head. The Super Scion was a different type of Super Scion. The transformation mode was different from the Super Scion transformation. If Super Scion 1, Super Scion 2, Super Scion 3 were the same type of transformation. If there was no change in the essence, then every state of the Super Scion was actually sublimated. The Golden Pupil State of the Super Scion, the Golden Pupil State, the Golden Haired of Legendary Super Scion, and the Super Scion were more similar to the changes between Super Scion, Super Scion God, and Super Scion Blue. For the Super Scion, comprehending the realm was not as good as enhancing the power level of the normal state. After the transformation, it was very likely to directly break through the limit of the realm. Yes. Broly was very pure. He would cultivate however Muyang asked him to, so he nodded seriously. After roughly examining the training of the children and instructing Melia and the others to continue supervising them, Muyang went to the laboratory to see the progress of April's research. When he arrived at the research lab, Muyang saw that April was carefully observing the cells of the android, trying to investigate the mysteries between the cells of the artificial human and the black stone. How is the research going? Muyang quietly walked to April. April took off her mask, within the body of Fusion Android 17 and Fusion Android 18, there are also S cells, and the connection with Blackstone material is very tight, and the structure is actually a special 10,081 face of the true sphere. There is a huge secret hidden. The S cells in the human body of Earth are sealed, and the Blackstone can penetrate through a special structure. The eternal energy of the android may be slowly releasing the power of S cells through the Blackstone. It's a pity that the Blackstone in my hand is gone. Otherwise, I could carry out more experiments. April shrugged regretfully. The Scion could instantly unleash the power of the Super Scion due to sufficient S cells, while the android used another method to release the energy of S cells. The combination of the two had great research value. If he studied it thoroughly, the effect would probably be unexpected. Muyang took the cell map that April him and looked at it a few times. You don't have to worry about Blackstone. I will find a way to get you some. Sorry to trouble you, brother. A smile appeared in April's sapphire blue eyes. It's nothing. I will find some. The three pieces of black stone in April's hands were picked up by her father from a meteor in outer space. The black stones in the other parallel worlds also had similar origins. She wondered if there were any other places in the entire universe with such black stones. Even if there were none, there should still be some in the small worlds attached to the entire universe. In order to provide April with research materials, Muyang had set his mind on those small and scattered worlds. By the way, you can't stay here and study alone. After a while, I need to train in seclusion in Acceleration World. You go to the outside world with Melia and the others. It just so happens that Cell, Milif, and the others are playing the Cell game. April lightly pulled up her hair, a smile on her face. All right, I can study the differences in parallel worlds. I can also occasionally give myself a holiday. After holding April in his arms, Muyang and April walked out of the laboratory together and told him about his seclusion. Melia and the others knew that Muyang was planning to make a breakthrough, so they smiled and congratulated him. Muyang laughed and sent everyone out of Acceleration World. Then, he also sent out the martial arts star. The next person stayed in the center of Acceleration World and found a place with the most energy. He closed his eyes and his thoughts spread to the entire acceleration world. 